Well, here we are in a game for the shield bow. Look at this fight, this level one. It's amazing. Oh, 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 I want the first strike gold. I want the gold. I'm going for it. Got that gold. Look at that gold, boys. Wait, that was only 19? I did so much damage with my alpha, guys. So anyway, guys, we were playing some shield bow master yi. As I'm sure you guys already know, every game is literally a shield bow game. But, 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 but. This game's going to be different. And you know why? Because they have a Karthus. And when Karthus ults me, boom, the shield bow will proc. And he can't do anything. But we should probably focus. I actually have a plan here. I talked about this uh, clear a little bit earlier. There's a clear that you could do that gets you a quick level 3 for a gank. And since Lulu doesn't have flash, we could do red into the blue, into the grump, into a boss side gank because Lulu has no flash. Right? So that's something we may consider doing. I'm just going to pull this out a little bit. And it'll die. Perfect. So we're actually going to do this clear to hit that quick level 3 and then gank bot. It's going to be insane, guys. It's going to be insane. You never see me do this clear, but I'm actually I'm feeling it deep in my bones here. So let's grab this. We could do the blue and the gromp at the same time to increase the clear speed. But honestly, I feel like my HP is worth more. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Screw it. <laughs> okay, you know, I sped it up a little bit. Okay, so this is acquired. We can see the enemy bot lanes push him. We're just looking for a ward from them. Does not look like they warded. What is this looking like? Bonk. Okay. Now we have level 3 secured, which is great. Having meditate for ganks is fantastic. We can actually pull ourselves in on this really, really easily. Okay. Lulu has no flash. Okay. Oh my god. Bro, do you not have it? Oh no. No, no, no. Ah. Uh, no. I was trying to get me the alpha strike bounce on Lulu, but she was just too far away. Man, he had no spells up for that whole thing, huh? Well, we can buy a double dagger. And I guess we just make our way back bot lane again. Now that they have... Uh... So the problem is, is now they have double buff. And also, they both have no flash, and Karthus is doing the crab here. So I'm actually going to make my way back towards bottom here. I think it'll work out. Mm. That was really rough. Wow, Philios almost full HP because of that red buff. Anyway, I'm going to come around for that, and then we got to do it again. Oh my god, dude. And there goes my first strike again. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus, man. Well, I wanted to go back for that. I think I just... Uh, I think I could do it, though. I don't think he warded. Man, they are really overextended wildly. Bro, like, why are you still here? You know what? Kill him. Kill him. He has no flash. Just murder this guy. What was that? What was that? Okay. Hmm. You know what, dude? It serves, it serves that guy right for, like, not getting off of me. Like, that was so annoying. Like, I'm, I'm happy we killed Karthus there. Like, players like that, man. Whew. Okay. So we managed to pick up the crab here because Karthus decided to just like have a little jolly time around that uh that bot lane. We do know Karthus is probably coming up towards top side. So we're gonna have to make this game quick, swift, and amazing. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I got this. Okay. Well, that was uh, quite a situation. Does he have boots? He does not have boots. Why is he so fast? He's 335 move speed. I'm 355. Bro, he is so fast. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, bro. This is my jungle. Well, actually, technically, it's top lane. It doesn't belong to anybody, but... Okay, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, you think you're cute. Yeah, you think you're cute. All right. Honestly, dude, they can't kill me. They can't kill me, because I have Meditate. Like, there's just no way they can kill me. Go ahead. Try it again. Oh, he took a hit. Okay, guys. Cute. Yeah, you're really cute. Really cute. That was, well done. Well done. <laughs> just, well done, guys. Well done. Um, yeah, I don't know. That was probably the worst dive ever. He could have just done my Krugs, but instead, <laughs> they decided to go for that dive there. I actually think I had more HP at the end of the dive than I had before the dive. 
Okay, anyway. Yeah, I did level up Meditate to level 2. So we alpha the minions to get level 2. Or to get level 4. And then we leveled up our Meditate just to ensure that we lived under tower there. So it was, it was no big deal. It was no big deal. I had full confidence there that I would survive that. Um, I was not scared at all. So let's go ahead and run over to the Raptors or whatever these are. Yeah, they're called Raptors, right? Okay, and then after these Raptors, we can continue to clear down towards the boss side. Maybe grab ourselves a, uh, uh, that dragon. I don't even know what that thing's called. Hex Gate Dragon, Hex Tech Dragon, the Hex Tech Dragon. I'd like to go back and purchase my Recurve Bow plus my, uh, whatchamacallit. Hmm. Timo signals careful. Get out of here. What are you going to do? You ain't got no mana, bro. Ow, he has so much mana. Why does he have so much mana, dude? Um, well. Okay. I need to go back and buy. Dude, he, like, he had no mana, and he's just like... He's like, nah, no, I definitely got mana. Like, I see him with no mana, so I'm like, I'm assuming that, you know, he's going to stop using his little skittles, but he just keeps skittling me, so... I guess he did have mana, guys. I guess he did have mana. Um, let's go down for our blue buff, and then, man. Yeah, bot lane's kind of a problem here. We need to hit level 6. We need to start spinning smites, and we need to get that dragon. I really want that dragon, because we don't want to give Karthus the ability haste. Because, you know, his ulti's really annoying. Oh my god, dude. I am so sick of this guy. I'm actually so sick of this guy. Like, dude, he has he has Lulu coming to help him, man. Like, I can't do anything because of the Lulu. Bro. Where is Swain at? Swain. Please. Okay, bro. Let's be like that, Karthus. Huh? What do you think, bud? How you feeling, buddy? I'm, I'm getting really tired of him. I'm, I'm actually getting legitimately super tired of this guy. Um, really annoying player, but, you know, that's fine because we're actually coming out on top in all of these exchanges. So, why be mad? I should be glad. I'm owning him. Uh, let's go for this. So, I want to go for this before Karthus gets back. Oh, my God. I'm not level 6 yet. Uh, guys, I need help. Wait, where'd Swain go? Swain did not come and help me, huh? Okay, well, we're gonna have to hurry on this one, huh? Um, guys, I'm nervous. Okay, secured, secured, secured. Dragon secured. Let's get out of here. And I think uh, for the future, we'll probably just put the pink cord right here so that we have uh, access to our jungle. Karthus is up in the top. He got another blue buff, dude. This guy. This guy. This guy. I wonder why Karthus players don't run first strike. I feel like your ulti will literally just give you like 200 gold every time you press R. Like, it just seems like it'd be really OP. Like, what? You get, like, 70% of the gold as a range champion, right? But you are. You do 200 damage at level 1 to 5 people. That's 100 gold. Well, actually, it's closer to 70 gold. That's 70 extra gold that you're getting right there. Hmm. I mean... Uh... Get back over here. Yeah, I think it would be... I'm coming. All right, well done. Stop running past it. Huh. <laughs> ah. 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 I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. Dude, that's the power of level 2 meditate. That right there is why you get to level 2 meditate, guys. It's just it's just something else, guys. It was just something else. All right, now as long as I don't die on this camp, we are really Gucci. We're really, really good. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these Krugs. Give me all those Krugs, folks. Okay, so with the Krugs gone, we can now focus on going for the, bot, or the red buff here. And we actually have enough now to finish that Blade of the Rune King. 
finally. And we can consider getting Shilbo second, or we can grab ourselves a Wits in second. Honestly, I don't feel the need to get a Wits in with their team comp looking like this at the current moment. In the future, I'll probably want one. So we get the Blade of Marine King, and actually, you know what we could do is instead of doubling down into debt here... Oh, no, we're still, we still got to go in debt. Ah, uh, how much do I need for that? 37 gold. Now, the question is, do I want those tier 2 Berserker Greaves? I think I do. How much gold do I need? 200. So I need 15 more gold, and then I have it. We've really got to do something about bot lane, though. The Lulu Aphilios is going to be kind of a problem. Uh, but Shield Bow will save the day, guys. It will save the day. So I'm in a good position here. My items are really good. 11 minutes in. I'm pretty happy with this. Mm. I don't like our bot lane, though. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the bot lane's the reason we're losing. All right, bot diff. Bot diff. All right, so let's grab ourselves the Gromp. No, I'm just kidding. Me and bot, we got this. We're, we're doing this together. Me and bot are doing this today, together. No bot diff. Got our level two E. Gonna kill ourselves the wolves. Man, all my camps are just spawning perfectly for me to walk by and pick them up. Mm, the timing on this could not have been better, guys. It is impeccable. See, it wasn't too bad to sit in the fountain and wait for those uh, those Berserker Greaves. We also need to pop Shelly somewhere to get us a Snowball and Gold. I love having Shelly. I absolutely love having Shelly for uh, getting extra gold here. Mm, okay. Man, that's looking real yummy. I mean, honestly, I would prefer to do mid, but... Uh Yeah, I'm kind of tired of you, Karthus. I'm kind of tired of you, man. You know, it's just got to be like that sometimes. Okay. Teemo, we got to push this in, all right? This this Malphite will bully you no further. We are the bullies. Meditating, 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 meditating. Where is Lulu? Where is mid? There's no Zed, no Lulu. All right, I'm not even going to go for it. I'm not great. Okay, there's no Zed. There's only Lulu. Yeah, I mean, he can have that. Ow. Okay, that actually didn't do any damage, but it took away my first strike. <coughs> Karsus, ultimate first strike counter. Okay, so let's get ourselves um, the Krugs, finally. They respond, and we got to think. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to get Shilbo as our next item. I think it's kind of a no-brainer at this point. Shilbo would be the best choice for me. Mm -hmm. And then next up, we either look at Death Dance. Like, I'd go Death Dance if uh, Karthus stays underwhelming. I'll go Wits End if he somehow ends up with 10 kills. But uh, actually, I think I think this is looking like a Death Dance or a Gunzu's game. Gunzu's is really good if you want damage, right? From a purely, like, team fight survivability perspective, Death Dance would be your defensive item here. And from, like, a damage perspective, Gunzu's would be your item. And then whichever one you end up not getting is the one that you get as a fourth item. And in most situations, I'd prefer to get the damage item because damage items can get you more gold, which then get you the defensive items more quickly, right? I mean, this guy doesn't have ulti. We already saw him use it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was... Dude, he should have just stayed in the bush. <laughs> or at least wait until he had ulti before showing himself there. I don't know. Malphite seemed to think, oh, you know, I'm invincible because I'm a tank character. You are not invincible, buddy. You are not invincible. All right, let's back off of this tower here while we wait for those minions and... See if we can't take cards this jungle. Oh, his blue buff. You know what? This feels great. I will. Oh. Bro. Ow. <laughs> Bro. That was not how I wanted it to be, guys. That was not how I wanted it to be. Bro, it was so awkward. It was just so awkward there. Uh, anyway, we need to be in position to get this dragon. They have objective bounties. There are only four kills, one tower, one dragon behind. And a rift. But the, the rift's what got us the tower. Uh, it's kind of kind of wild. Let's check out the CS's are. We're losing in CS in every lane except for top. All right. All right, game. All right. Let's go ahead and start buying our longsword. We can't afford the Guntus immediately, so we're going to grab these other items. <clears throat> Anyone else getting a mic echo? Okay, so apparently TikTok is getting a mic echo. I see it. I don't know why you guys are getting a mic echo. I'll fix it here in a second. Oh, right. I got a lot of gold out of that one. My team's going in for this here. Get it. Get it. Uh, 
1930. Looks like my team will manage to secure that. And they can get this uh, dragon here. Give me one second, though, guys. I had to actually fix my my mic echo. I have an echo here. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on. I will have to resolve that. But first, I'm going to sit in the fountain and wait for this Gunju's Rage Blade. I'm going to cut out this part while I try to figure it out. Did you, did, I'm, I can get rid of the echo, but you're going to lose game sound. I'll fix it afterwards. Just remind me afterwards. Wait, and my game's doubled up too. Like, what is going on, guys? Dude, my TikTok stream is just a disaster. All right, there you go. I'll fix it afterwards. Just remind me after. Okay, so here we are going for this uh, red buff. Absolutely no problem here. And we're going to be going over towards the Rift Herald to try and deny them Rift Herald. Fortunately, my team did manage to pick up that kill on the Dragon. Not too bad. And we are working towards our Shield Bow now as our next item. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to get Shield Bow instead of Gunju's Rage Blade. Hmm. I don't know how I forgot about that, but that's okay. Gunju's is still a great second item anyway. Uh, you just go Gunju's Rage Blade, or you just go Shield Bow if you're expecting more team fights. Gunju's for more splits. It's worth it. It was worth it. 10 out of 10. We'll do it again. All right. Rakon's running around with the Zed here. Um, we're going to be waiting and seeing what we can accomplish here. Mm -hmm. Waiting and seeing what we can accomplish here. Um, hmm. This game's going okay here. Rackon's going up for these guys here. Oh, it looks like he died, though. He didn't manage to pick anything up. We can go and start working towards the shield bow components. I'm going to wait a second so I don't go into debt. There we go. And now we're going to go push down bot lane while we can because we have an entire tower down there that we want to push in. So we're going to do bot side into the tower. We're doing pretty good. Seven kills ahead. I pretty much have all those kills. But we got the full dragon security, too. So we're doing a really, really good job here. Okay, the minions are pushing. Nope, team of this lane belongs to me. I see, I see that little rodent. He's trying to head over here. I see you, Teemo. Yeah, me and this Karthus are arc nemesis. I'm actually getting really tired of this guy. Uh, I do have Rift. I don't want to waste it here because there's people coming, right? So we just do what we can to this tower. I will jump this Karthus if need be. Where you at, buddy? Whee! First strike gold. What? I was in alpha. Okay. But anyway, we managed to get like 200 gold out of that guy there. Yeah, he's holding on to his ulti. He's waiting for me to alpha, right? So when it comes down to like a fight there with the Malphite, it's just a um it's just a it's a mind game here. Like who's gonna use their ability first, right? Whose ability is whose ability first? So in that case, I like to hold on to my auto attacks if I know that the enemy is good enough that they're not just gonna spam an ability, right? Like I know Malphite's not gonna immediately ult me, so I'm just gonna immediately right click him. And then he's gonna think that I'm gonna alpha dodge, but I'm not actually alpha dodging, and then he gets really confused and it works out really well in my favor. So let's go ahead and see what else we can do here. <clears throat> I'm kind of tempted to go for this Baron because, oh, I didn't get the lifesteal. Yeah, if you don't get the lifesteal, it's actually really, really hard to do Baron. It's doable, especially if you have two smites, it's doable. Um, but the lifesteal component would be way better at doing Baron. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Who's in the top lane? Let's kill this because we got 20 seconds on the Baron. So soloing Baron is actually a really good tactic that you can uh, use in a lot of your games. And this is uh, this build right here is sufficient enough to do the Baron. You might have to use Highlander. You might have to use two Smites. It just depends on the Baron rotation. No! No! Where's my Smite, dude? I mean, I got outplayed because I was sitting there trying to focus on that Karthus ulti me. And then I missed my Alpha Strike on the Karthus. And then he was too far away. And then I couldn't use my Blue Smite. So that fight did not go anywhere. I should have won that fight, by the way. That fight was 100% a win for me if I was not terrible at this game. Um, let's go ahead and work on the lifesteal component for the shield bow. Looks like my team's going pretty deep in there. Man, that Mordekaiser shield is huge, man. Pulled out the cart this air. I mean, honestly, 100% though, I would have, I would have beaten Azed if I wasn't terrible at this game. So, 
Unfortunately, guys, Cal Step is terrible at this game. What I could have done better is I could have saved my Alpha Strike. Like, it, it's the Karthus ult what made me panic there. When Karthus started ulting, I wanted to Alpha dodge it, and then I got too close to Zed, and then I had to Alpha early, and then I got hit by the ulti anyway. It was just... It was just a disaster. It was literally everything I everything was misplayed there. Just holding on to the I should like Karth Assault and uh, held on to the Alpha Strike for the Zed dodge. But I actually got kind of baited by first strike because I wanted to uh, keep the first strike proc on him. So you know if I had lethal tempo, maybe I wouldn't have played like that. Okay. Let's go and secure the the kill on Zed here. Oh yeah, you kill that thing. I don't know why he's sweeping. Mm. All right, I'm gonna roll around and down. Sweeping, 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 sweeping. Sweeping, sweeping. Okay, where you at, Zed? Don't worry, I'll show you guys how to deal with Zed. Like this, look at that. Was that not easy? Dude, he stole my camps! Dude, what is that damage? Ouchies. But yeah, you can see that you can easily dodge his application of his ulti there. But he ended up stealing all my camps because they were low enough health, which is a real pain in the butt there. But that's okay. I might just do my full clear upwards. My team wants to go for Baron, but I'm on the wrong side of the map, huh? Okay, let me... I guess I'll just head over there. I'm killing the Grom for health, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming. If I don't come, my team's gonna just, like, get really angry at me, so I'm on my way. Bong! I'm coming, guys. Don't worry. The Master Yeezus is here. I won't continuously clear the jungle. No. I'm not that kind of player, guys. I would never do that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Master's just like so great at killing Baron that, you know, you kind of need him here. Why solo Baron when you got friends that can help you guys? I got friends. Perfect, it's a beautiful Baron. Oh, he's going full deep. I don't think Zed has ulti. Dude, I can't, I can't see him. Oh, dude, he didn't even leave the bush, bro. That was, uh, that was a rough situation, but at least we burned his ulti. Dude, I'm telling you guys, this Zed is my worst enemy. I thought it was Karthus, when in fact it's actually Zed that is completely dominating me here. It's okay, we're gonna heal up on these rafters and get back to the fight before my team, like, rage quit. Oh, they're all backing. Okay, we don't have to go on that. Now we can purchase the shield bow, guys. Now we can purchase the shield bow. Not a bad pickup. Okay, we're gonna grab Krugs. Get the shield bow, and then you're probably wondering what's next, guys. Well, you shouldn't be wondering because it's going to be a death stance. Because death stance is just really OP on you. We're doing okay right now in terms of farm. We got three dragons, and I love whenever I can collect dragon souls like this because it's going to force the enemy to actually make a move on it, right? Let's grab this. Yeah, so the enemy is going to have to take an unfavorable fight on dragon, which is the worst part about... Dude, look how many Zanyas on my team. Nice. I mean, we won because of Zanyas diff. Honestly, like, what are you going to do? When everybody has Azanias, what do you do? I guess you focus E, huh? And then once I get Death Stats, I'm going to be really hard to deal with. I should get Azanias. We should just fill the entire team with Azanias. Rakan could get Azanias, too. Like, everybody just get Azanias. I'm coming, boys. We're coming, Teemo. I will not let you down. That's how we do it right there. Wait, where's that Zed at? I could have sworn I saw a Zed. Bonk. That's mine. Yeah, I could have sworn I saw a Zed. And Teemo actually survived with full HP. They just chased that guy into the bush. That was uh, something fantastic. Mm. But I love when I get shield bow. It makes me feel so tanky. And it's just, it's just amazing and delicious and wonderful. It's a wonderful situation, guys. All right, we're pushing in this bot lane here. Who's still up? I could just jump on that guy. Look at the shell bow. Look how good it is. Like, look how good that shell bow is. Oh my god, it was amazing. Like, you don't need Kraken to do damage when you have shell bow, guys. Like, shell bow just does so much damage as well. Oh my god, look at that Teemo shroom. That was amazing. Just threw it right on top of them. And that right there's an inhibitor. We also have an inhibitor coming in on top lane, maybe. And then this guy's pushing down mid. Not too bad. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buy my own Zanya's Hours Glass. Uh, you know, essentially. Having four Zanyas on the team will actually just irritate the ever-living crap out of the enemies. Oh, oh, Teemo, you must survive, bro. Oh my god, dude. I'd be I'd be so tilted. Poor guy. 
Um, so we got the Zanya Zara's Glass as our next item here. I mean, guys, look, Zanya, Zanya, Stopwatch, Zanya. Once this guy goes back, he's getting a Zanya. We're just gonna have everybody's gonna have a Zanya Zara's Glass. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you, enemy team. That's just really unfun. Look, Mordekaiser has enough to finish that Zanya's. Like, bro, it's the item is so oppressive to play against. They're gonna be so tilted if they actually bother to open up the uh, tab key. <clears throat> so I have an individual that says Shilbo got nerfed. It's not even good anymore. I disagree. I think Shilbo is really, really great right now. Uh, they removed some of the sustain on the lifesteal, but the sustain is never what the Shilbo is about. It's about the burst protection. We get a 500 HP shield, and on top of that, just from legendary items, we're getting 210 extra health, which is also fantastic. Getting extra health from this item is really good. I feel like Shilbo is just in a really great position right now for Mastery, and it's definitely our most popular mythic. You just, you don't need to damage a crack and you need the survivability of it. Now, I also think uh, the Sunfire Aegis is pretty good on Mastery as well, but I have a really hard time building Sunfire Aegis because it just doesn't give you the damage a Shield Bow does as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yo, you need, to, you need to go get yourself a Zanya's Hours Glass, Mordekaiser. Trust me, bro. It's worth it. Don't worry. I can just pent it without you. You don't have to worry about anything. Wait, did he just ult that minion? Dude, I'm ready to get like 500 gold from this first strike. Dude, the moment I go in, I'm gonna get Malphite ulted, though. Whee! Oh, wait. I'm in the middle. Wait, where? Oh, Zanyas! Zanyas! Whee! Dude, Shilbo just saved me so hard. Mm. And that's how we do it right there. Hope you guys enjoyed that game, and hope you guys enjoyed Zanyas Hours Glass. What an item. What an item. All right, let's get to the next game. Hey, guys, we're playing some Ashy and to this enemy team comp. They're fairly squishy, a little bit of CC on some of these players, but I'm going to be playing First Strike Mastery, and maybe I will go for... Oh man, I don't know. I don't know the build yet. We'll see how the build ends up panning out. I mean, if I make this a YouTube video, you're going to see the build in the thumbnail, surely, but um, we'll, we'll get to our decision-making and how we decide on that build here. So we're going to be going for this bot lane. Wait, does my bot lane duo... Oh yeah, they're a duo. I love I love the usernames, guys. Look at this. T1 Blitzcrank T1 Ziri. Not only are they duo, but they're one tricks. This is cute. Alright, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna ruin their lane. Let's go! Why are you not going, T1 Blitzcrank? Thank you. I mean, I don't think that was worth your your flash there, bro, but you know, all in a day's work, all in a day's work. First gank secured. Uh, and we're gonna make our way up towards, I don't know, Yone here. This is looking really nice. Who's our jungle? Fiddle? Uh, Fiddle usually starts blue, right? So... Okay, I'm going in. I think we go for this. Who cares? Who cares if Fiddle's here? We went 2v2, right? Wait, why is he level 3? Does that mean Fiddle's here? Wait, why do we have top diff coming in hot here, guys? Oh. Um, well, that sucks. I think he got my red buff, too, guys. <laughs> Did you know clicking your D key make your next alpha deal double damage? All right, I'm spamming it. I'm spamming it. It's not working. You lied to me. Yo, thank you for the sub, Zender. 45 months. Welcome back, dude. Long time no see. Well, actually, no. I think I've seen you in chat. You just haven't been sub. Because, you know. What's up, man? Okay, so Fiddlesticks is ganking my T1 lane. Oh, he did not take the crab. I'm actually going to grab this on the way. Just in case I die, I can still have it, you know? Think positively here. Uh, okay, Ziri's gone. Maybe I'll go take his Raptors. I have a feeling he's going to be in Krugs, right? I need to get myself a Meditate. Uh-oh, Alistar's coming. Yup, they know I'm here. That sucks. Okay, well, I somehow survived. <clears throat> I don't know how, but I survived. And uh, we gave Katarina the Shumpo because we're not completely incapable. And we just gotta hope that Fiddlesticks doesn't decide to come over here because if he comes over here, I'm super dead. <laughs> 
wouldn't that be something, guys? Wouldn't that be something? We also got the Alistar Ignite. So maybe we can make a move on bot lane here. So I'm actually going to meditate before hitting this. And the reason why is because the lower the health you are, the more you meditate. Okay. And what is Katarina up to here? Is she getting dived? I can't do anything about that. He's just going to walk back through. She loses all those minions now, though. All those minions. I don't know why she went for that. Uh, she doesn't have flash either, huh? Hmm. Boink. 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 Well, at least my, uh, my raptors are back up. Oh, actually, it looks like this might be up because we just saw Shin walk through here and the crab's still up. Yes, it is. And we're just going to get out of here before Rengar roams down. 15. Shin is already seeing 15. Bro, why does my Shin have to see us a Rengar? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Hmm. That trade, though. I have no idea where that fiddle is. Bonk. Hmm. Level 3 Alpha Strike for faster clear. Right, right. That's gone. I forgot. I forgot. I'm coming. That was an interesting taunt. Grab this fiddle. Why is Shen in here? Why is Shen there? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, that was so close. I don't have Triumph. Well, here we are back on my red. I got a pretty early Blade and Ring King at eight minutes. This is looking really good thanks to that Fiddle shutdown. And I can actually use this opportunity to gain top. Like, I think Rengar will be a very easy gank, because I have Blade and Rain gank. Right, once you get Blade and Rain gank, it's pretty, it's pretty chill. Can you go on him? Where's my blade ranking slow? Did I accidentally already use it? Uh oh. Oh man, we missed the cannon. But we can push in this tower. Well, I guess I can push in this tower. I don't know where Fiddle is. I fear for my life. I think he was coming up, but he doesn't have R. So maybe I can make something happen here. He knows I'm gonna greed for these plates. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, man. Uh, oh, he's by, he's by, he's by. I'm dumb, I'm dumb. I don't know. I was just staring at the tower instead of the <laughs> instead of the mini map. Um, okay, that was a good shin. Oh my god, it was like a perfect shin ult. You literally could not ask for a better shin ult than that. Uh, what are we looking at in terms of itemization here, though? I still that's the thing about Yi, guys. It's really really hard to know exactly what to build on Yi because you just have so many options. But I think the most generic option is just if you don't know what to get, you just kill shield bow. But you know, there's so many options out there. Uh, I can actually gank top. Okay, another free kill coming in hot here. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. Playing a little crazy. I shouldn't have blue smite so early. I lost a lot of first strike gold there by doing that so early. Uh, they did get dragon, but I can get rift herald, which is arguably a bigger snowball. I do like my big snowballs. Shelly, give me everything. Give me everything. I don't want to waste my... my I also don't want to waste any more E just in case I get jump by Yone. Oh, right into the pit, dude. All right, go team one team. I believe in you. So um, I am going for the Guntu's Rage Blade here and you can see my attack speed increase quite a bit. I managed to pick up some boots. And uh, we're going to get the Gunzus into the shield bow afterwards. 
And I think this is just the most standard, most meta build. It just works in almost every situation. Wow, Fiddlesticks has eight kills. <laughs> I meant to realize that. But the thing I love about Gintu's Rage Blade is it's cheap and it gives your Mythic an extra bonus more quickly. Kind of like Zanya's Hourglass, right? Um, let's roll up to the top lane. Honestly, Rengar is probably our key to getting rich because we can also use Rengar to stack for strike gold. I think at this point we could probably get an extra 100 gold from hitting Rengar first. So we're probably going to kill these Krugs and do that real quick. It's like getting almost half a kill extra. We just uh, we got to make sure that we blue smite him when he's close enough for us to alpha strike. Or we don't even need a blue strike technically because he's unless he throws his rope at us or whatever. Did you get him? Did you get him? Cat? Oh my god. Well, she got him. And I got the extra gold, as predicted. Good thing Shen ulted me. Oh man, the madness of bot lane, boys. Well, everybody's dead. I survive. Well, we can pick up a red buff. I'm still quite fed, though. Who am I missing to kill? I'm probably Fiddle, huh? Oh, Ezreal? I apparently killed Fiddle at some point. Ezreal. Interesting. Well, we're going to see who's the better duo, guys. Is Fiddlesticks Alistar or my bot duo? Oh, my God, dude. Please. Nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Woo, I got enough for Ginzus. That's what I needed. I, I honestly, I needed that. <laughs> if only I got the first strike gold, I wouldn't have to use Futures Market to do it. But you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, guys. Beggars can't be choosers. Let's go back and get that Ginzus. Actually... Let's not go back. Let's go grab uh, the wolves and the Grom first, and then we'll go get Gunzus. I think we got time for that. Uh, I kind of want to get this. I want to get this crab. Is the crab up? Goodness. Mm. Right. They probably literally just took it. Oh my god! Fiddle stop. I gotta pull this out. <clears throat> We're just waiting for the objective bounties. Okay. Their entire team showed up. I guess I'm not waiting for objective bounties, because you know I'm. <laughs> I'm a one-man team here, boys. One-man team. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Please don't die, bot, though. Please, like... I'm coming. You know what's interesting is this duo both basically have the same ulti-looking thing where they explode. Pretty pretty nice, huh? Right, let's go back for that gun juice. Okay, my team just got completely ace there. That was, uh... Wait, is that a Rengar? Did I just walk past some Rengar? Is that a fiddle? It was probably a fiddle trinket, right? There's no way that was Rengar. Rengar would... No. Nah. <laughs> that was uh, confusing. Confusing. Uh, well, let's see how many people come up here to deal with me. I mean, they can't come with just one. They have to bring, like, the whole squad to deal with me. Like, if Rengar comes to try and solo stop me, well, free kills for me, boys. But I have a feeling he'll have fiddle here. Nice. I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. Which way is he coming from? Ouch. Glitch, you gonna you gonna hook one or <laughs> nice? Nice. Good stuff. Let's go get that Rift Herald. We need that objective bounty. Yo, my team killing them. Oh. Nice. No, the objective bounties are wearing off. Stupid enemy team. How dare you? Well, let's uh, go split push top because I like to get free farm. Thank you, friends. Thank you for your sacrifices here, Shen. And oh god, I get negative gold from hitting these. How much is the S I have? I have less than fiddle though. He has so many kills too. That's crazy. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> okay. I mean, still entirely winnable, guys. Still entirely winnable. Bro, you are... Whatever, dude. I'll give it to him. I don't care. 
Sometimes it's better to give it to them than to worry about your team getting mad at you or whatever. And honestly, he's Ziri. Ziri makes pretty good use out of it. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to hold an ego on him. It's not time to have an ego check, guys. Like, if you want to win, you want to win. It's really that simple. A little bit worried about that getting taken by Ezreal. Could be somebody down in the river. Oh, they just took that. Ow, dude, that Ezreal did so much damage to me. Well, I don't have enough time on this. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know how we're just single-handedly losing these fights so hard. Especially when, like, Rengar just straight ints into me. There's no way Blitz is AFK. He's dual queue with Siri, right? Like, why would he be AFK? Like, they literally have matching names. There's no way they'd he'd go AFK. How much gold did I get from that? A lot. <laughs> I don't know how much, but I got a lot. Because I have 1,400 now from my rune. I mean, we don't have Ziri. We don't have Katarina. Bro, you, 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 don't, you don't have that. Bro, they just bull took that as real hit. Like, make forcing me to waste my smite is so dumb. Compared to like giving me that that first strike in fights, is Shen constantly trying to take my camp? I don't know what his problem is. That's another 200 gold in the bank. Man, first strike just hits right. Like, look at all this gold we're getting here. Oh, we lost objective bounties again. Game's really close. My alpha, dude, what are these alphas, man? I'm terrible at this game. I keep missing my alphas. Honestly, these should be 100%, especially with my ping. I'm just playing really bad. I'm playing really bad. Well, this could be a very... Oh, I thought he wanted my camp. I can't tell if this Shin likes me or hates me, man, judging by how he's always, like, hitting my camps, you know? Maybe he's actually just legitimately trying to help me kill them and not steal them. But then he steals them anyway. <laughs> right? Like, I don't know. Does Knight's Vow give me any, like, tenacity? Wait, he didn't equip his Knight's Vow to me, did he? 
Oh, he did. Why isn't there a buff on me? Uh, of course, Ziri wants this. I mean, she's quite fed. She can probably make good use out of it. Whatever. Hmm. Let's go back and get that Tenacity Pot if we can. Okay, Tenacity Pot acquired. Um, I just realized I saw something in the Baron. Like a Yone dash in it or something. But, oh yeah, okay. Let's put that ward over there. Okay, so the problem is not having Shen immediately in the fight is one person that's not soaking damage. It should be. But they don't have Rengar either. Oh, I was hitting the wrong dude. But Ziri got this. Ziri got this. Ziri got this. Ziri, what the? What the bloody heck, dude? Hmm. We're going in. We could just fight this. Oh my god, dude. Did Katarina do anything? Oh, she got a triple. She almost got the quad. Okay, yo, yo, Ziri's still up. Ziri's still up. No. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm frame lagging. So oh my god, Shen had ult. Oh my god, he had a stop up? Yes. Get Baron, please. Please, for all the Tolly. Okay, fantastic, guys. We just picked up Baron, and I'm um, getting really close to this death stand. Ziri, fortunately popping off. That's what I've been giving her reds for, guys. Yeah, when I died, I was like, oh, no. And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Ziri's still alive. Oh. Okay, what was that dash, dude? She dead, isn't she? Well, you know, it was a, it was a short-lived Baron, but a good-lived Baron. Oh, okay. Shen's dead now, too. This is nice. <laughs> this is nice. No biggie. Dude, the Shen's a beast, though. Oh, I see him slowly dying there. Well, that's a double shot down given to the enemy. I'm not even sure what we're going to be able to do here with Ziri down for 40. She's kind of our wave clear. Because we don't have real wave clear. Okay, they both shut each other down. I gotta... Yo, 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 yo. Um, I have enough for Death Dance. Not bad. Alright. Death Dance acquired, friends. Just wait for Ziri. We got 10 seconds. Man, what a throw that was. We went from having Baron to, like, everybody dying and losing two inhibitors. I don't even know how they manage that one. I mean, I do, but I like to say I don't. It makes me feel better. Ah, I missed Cannon. Well, um, at least I'm almost full build, you know, minus the whole lack of boots thing. But I can actually go back and use my Futures Market to buy a pair of boots. Which is, you know, is something. Okay, all we gotta do is just group and fight. Group, fight, win. Kenneri needs a rabbit on. 800 gold. Ooh, that's a big power spike for her because she also gets an iron nose large rod. Oh, he has a GA. And a Zanya's on Rengar. So I had to go for Ezreal or Alistar basically to get my reset. Alternatively, I could always drop these boots and get a stopwatch later. Ooh, that was so close on that hook. That was a good try. It was it was a hard hook. It was a hard hook, and he almost got it. Though, granted, his name is literally T1 Blitzcrank. He should be a Blitz expert by now. I'm just saying. We gotta go maintain some waves. Hmm. 
Secured Fiddle's blue. He can't be happy about that. Oh god, they are not happy about that. They are really not happy about that. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, what is this shield? <laughs> wow. Oh my god. We gotta run for it, boys. Yo. Bro, hit the blasty. Oh. He got the flash. This basically determines how the game's gonna go, huh? Game, Calcep, you did it! You did it! Oh, I did it! I did it! I secured the dragon under high pressure. I'm gonna win the game. Let's go all the way. Can we? Can we? Can we? Tell me more. Tell me more! Tell me more! Keep pushing, boys. We're going deep. Man, we didn't lose a single player in that team fight. And that right there is GG. What a game that was. That was a really good game. Bonk. And you know what? I'm happy with it. You guys, we're starting on the red buff here against this team comp. They're pretty squishy. And I am running Ignite. And we are going shield bow. It's a shield bow day, guys. It's a shield bow day. Hang on, let me pull this red out here. Uh-huh. They have this warded, so I have to be really careful about... um. You know, making sure that they don't steal it. Okay, red secured. So the ward's deep in here. It's about right there, which might have seen me walk away. I don't know. That might be something we're testing sometime to see if they see me walk up to the red buff. As frequently as it happens, might be worth knowing. Might be worth testing. So let's grab ourselves the Krugs. Actually, I'll watch a replay after, and I'll figure it out. So this Renekton's kind of pushy. I would love to gank him if he could push a little bit more for me. A little bit more, please. Please, I might just go for an invade. I have ignite. He has exhaust. Uh, but actually, Renekton's kind of pushing, so I like it. I'm gonna assume that he didn't see me walk upwards. Oh, I think I got him with that ignite. Perfect. That is a beautiful ignite that just secured the kill there. Honestly, Flash would have secured it as well, but. You know, you got to be happy with what you got. So, Karth has probably started on blue. Unlucky, which means he's bot side. Oh, 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 Yeah, let's get this guy. Don't, don't let him get away with this. Everybody together now. All right, there's the exhaust on the ash. I'm coming. Everybody's coming. This is just free kill here. Okay, let's go this way. Go this way. Oh my god, dude, I literally, I cannot, I cannot fathom here. Okay, well, this is a really rough game here. I don't like where this is going. Okay, so Talon just on his little magical journey around the map here. Man, Talon. But, you know, that was a one for one, so we didn't completely let him get away with it. Who got the blue buff? I think maybe Talon did, because Ash probably picked it up and Talon picked it up. Yep, that's what it looks like. So let's just continue our clear here. At least he didn't take my entire bot side. Got that going for me. So we're going to grab a Gromp and then continue to clear upwards, I suppose, because I'm already here anyway. Might as well do it, and then we'll back, grab some items, and then uh, probably go for bot lane afterwards. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. So there's this wolf. Pull it in. Pull in that wolf. Okay, got the double strike. Whoop, 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 whoop. There's one wolf down. That one burns. It burns, my friends. Okay, so I do not have enough for another alpha strike, so let's grab this. Until we get enough for that alpha strike, and then we alpha those raptors. 
Man, you know, I actually, last game I played Nocturne instead of Mashi. I missed B. I don't know how people can play non-Ni champion, to be honest, folks. They all suck. They all suck to play. The only downside is Zanyas is an item. Okay, so there is a Karthus on this side here. I'm going to ping it like 50 times so my team is aware of it while I continue to do my full clear before I go back and buy. Because I do really need to go back and buy. And we are... Uh, so the reason why Shield is going to be so good is to block the burst from the Talon, block the burst from the Renekton, maybe survive a Karthus alt or two. I think Shield Bow will be a very good filling item. Oh, I did not get my double strike there. Okay, let's back and pick up some items. We have Futures Marcus, so we could actually buy a pickaxe and a recurve. All right, we're rolling down on this Ash, friends. Rolling down on Ash. I'm coming to save you, buddy. Oh, man, I am so close. I just need this Alpha. I got him. That's the power of Ignite. Boink. Yeah. Yeah, don't ask why I'm picking up Ignite. I don't know. I just wanted to do something a little bit fresh and different this game because I'm always running uh, Flash. So, you know, Ignite with Cosmic Insight actually gives your Ignite 152 second cooldown. It's actually incredibly short. Yeah, and of course, Talon from it down towards bot. Um, okay. I'm coming. Do you have your Q up? Yeah, I mean, whatever. We got a full clear. I'm going to let this go. I don't personally care about Dragon that much. Dragon's not a big deal breaker for me. So if we lose that, it's whatever. But I mean, Talon's a mid laner, so I don't think he'll go for it. Let's get this full clear again. I believe in the full clear, my friends. I mean, at this point, you know, we're in pretty decent spot. This Ignite's doing the work. I'm very happy with Ignite. Uh, oh, man, he's got three camps up on me. Uh, maybe Victor can do something here. Oh, yeah, he's out of mana. Oh, it's not enough. Okay, I'm going to push this really hard. Because I can. Okay. I mean, Karthus has no mana to keep this pushed. Hmm. Hmm. I could totally dive that. Does he have stopwatch? Mm, I was considering it, guys. I was considering it. But actually, Karthus might come walking up through here, especially if he wants to grab the plant here. Mm. Oh, he missed. Uh, Talon and Karthus might both collapse on me here. I don't know what he's doing, dude. What is his wall? Oh, is he taking blue buff? Alright, that's one down. I'm going for it. I'm going deep. I'll take it. Okay, so we see Karthus and Topside doing that clear. This is a free dragon for me, so we're going to walk down and secure it. Give me this dragon. Whee! The best dragon, guys. The best dragon. So, dragons are nice, you know. But the problem is, is they can potentially give the enemy objective bounties. I'm doing really well. I'm actually four kills right now. Um, the ignite doing work, I'm telling you. Of course, I think like trading kills there in the bot lane was pretty worth it. And I'm going to be grabbing... I thought about a moment, Mortius, but no, we're definitely going to grab Shield Build this game. It's only Karthus, right? And he's yeah, he's doing okay. He's not like super fed. We can go for like a Wits into a Shield Bow into a Gunsu's. The thing is, I love to grab Gunsu's as my second item, right? It just gives me so much extra damage. It's just... It's really great to grab a Ginzus, but when Karthus is getting a bit fed, you kind of want to get that Wits in, because Wits in's a great item anyway. Definitely an item I love to have. Ooh, he's going to get some uh, Snowball with that Rift Arrow, probably. I'm going to go towards my top side. I mean, anytime I could kind of have an excuse to build a Wits in, I want to build a Wits in. You know what? I'm going. Wait, is he, is he ulting me? <laughs> you, you mad, bro? Like, what was that? Maybe Talon's Mia? I don't know where Talon's at, but I'm going to get out of here. Up we go. I don't know, dude. That was a very interesting card assist. I wouldn't just leave my Raptors alone. I mean, come on, dude. You don't got Flash. Why are you sitting there? Why are you dealing with my Raptors, man? 
Just let him go. All right, so after we get this, I think we can help top lane out here with this Renekton. He's only level 9. I'm actually two levels up on an average jungle level. So this is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sweep this. I'm going to come around for a dive. Karthus, we know that his camps are down for a little bit. And he just came out of top side, right? So what are the chances? Oh. Hey, you know what? I'm going deep. I am not going deep. Nice. <laughs> okay, back to the jungle we go for a full clear. We bought the components of the Wits End. They're also, ironically, components of a Kraken Slayer if you end up wanting to get a Kraken Slayer. But no, we're working on Wits End and to Shield Bow next. Because, honestly, guys, I really do think right now that Shield Bow is the best mythic for Yi. At one point, I was not convinced. But, you know, the meta's changed a bit, and now I actually legitimately do think it's the best mythic for Yi. Every once in a while, I like to get that Sunfire. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> I will be doing a video on some uh, Tank Mastery very soon, though, so that'll be fun. Uh, let's grab ourselves these Raptors. The No Flash card, this boys. What is going on over there? Did they get him? Nice, they got him. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to head over to Renekton. I mean, Set's kind of kind of punching some people, you know? Look how much this guy's pushing, even though he just saw me mid. I mean, free kill, whatever. Okay. <laughs> interesting Ash Arrow. Interesting Ash Arrow. He probably should have saved it to see if that guy would get away. Of course he's not going to get away. I'm too good at this game. Let's grab our Gromp. And, dude, I hope this Karthus actually shows up after my first strike so I can get me, like, an extra 100 gold or something. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be clean. That'd be clean. Where you at, Karthus? Come on. Your entire boss side's up. You should be coming. Karthus should be coming. Uh, I mean, he's got to come eventually. Maybe I'll just sit here and wait in his blue. He'll come eventually. Because this blue's spawning in 20. His entire top side's up. I'm holding this side. I mean, dude, if you hit Karthus, does he get an extra HP? No, just mana. If you hit Karthus, you're guaranteed to get an extra 100 gold from first strike. Like, it's such free gold. Oh, he's a mid, yeah. Just some rift. Really, really interesting. Oh, objective bounties are available soon. Interesting. Okay, not too bad. Dude, what is this Renekton's problem with killing this pain board, bro? Bro, he just canceled all that Renekton's dashes. All right, how much gold did I get from that? I don't know. Did I even get the first strike proc? Wait. Why is my fr Oh, Karthus hit me. No. I got denied, guys. I got denied. I forgot he ulted. Oh, no. Well, you know. It is what it is, guys. I kind of want to go back and get that wits in. Ooh. Good effort, dude. Good effort. Mm. Let's continue this clear. And honestly, we should probably back get the wits in and then continue to bot side clear. Uh, because, I don't know, it just makes more sense that way. Hmm. Talon wall jumping. I got to make my way over to the dragon. I must secure dragon. And we are running red smite here because we're using ignite as our, uh, our gap closer if we need it. Instead of blue smite. Perfect. Perfect. We move so fast with this wits in, guys. Here, check this out. 410, 427. We zoom in. We got the zoomies. We should try and secure the Rift Herald, though, because that's a pretty big objective bounty for the enemy if they manage to pick it up. So I'm going to start heading over there. Okay. Let's grab the uh, red buff. I wanna, I wanna get that uh, that rift herald. Oh, somebody! Oh, it's not or not Alyssa. I was like, somebody's here. Who could that be? It's not Alyssa, of course. I feel pretty safe to fight anybody right now, except maybe Renekton. But honestly, Renekton's not even that far ahead, so 
I mean, when I say ahead, he's not, like, comparable to me. But once we get Shell Bow, he'll be no problem. No problem. Be nice if we got some Pavies, too, huh? Okay, denying the enemy from the Rift Herald here. Yeah, and you could always build. I feel like when you're running a shield bow build, you're pretty much always building two items in the shield bow after. Mm. Hey, buddy. Okay. Well, that was a that was a wild time, guys. Oh my god, dude, that set does so much damage. Where's his team at? Well, that's not good. <laughs> Another full clear incoming. Uh, and we're really close to the shield bow now. Shield bow is 1,300 away. And uh, once we get that, we should be pretty much unstoppable. I really, I love whenever I get three items with the shield bow mastery. But of course, the problem is getting to those three items, right? But if you get like, if you get blade ranking Guntus into like one component of the shield bow, you actually have enough to do Baron. Uh, he's backing. I need to pop Shelly somewhere. Unfortunately, all my lanes are accounted for, and he also took my raptors. So I don't have raptors. I guess I go into the enemy's raptors, boys. Oh. Come on. I'm ready. Bro. Bonk. <laughs> Peering on my crab. Ready to destroy it. And then we go for top lane. I think he just drew down a flower on this side. So I'm gonna wait for my team to push him over here. Dude, I can't auto. It won't let me. Why do I do so much damage? I'm on hit. <laughs> like, what is that? Um. Well, I guess we're going full deep for that Baron. I don't know, man. That uh, that was wild. I can't believe we did that much damage there. That's an on-hit build. But I'm telling you, it's like the Wits End on-hit magic damage is so cost-efficient. We already got 75. Like, it's just actually insane how much damage it does. All right, let's uh, go for the Dragon here. We must deny them Dragon. Also, we have enough for Shield Bow now. Pretty great. I'm going to look forward to that. A shield bow life for me, yahar, yahar. Mm hmm. Let's grab ourselves the dragon here. And then we can back and purchase that shield bow, and now we should be hopefully unkillable. Okay, red buff acquired. Now I'm going to be going for probably a top split push, because at this point we are unkillable. Well, preferably, and we're going to be buying Death Dance next. Death Dance will just kind of put the nail in the coffin. There's absolutely nothing they'll be able to do against me if I have Death Dance. Maybe if they, maybe if they five manned me. But we're going to push this. Okay, the camps have been taken, and let's push, push, push. And I'm ready. Yo, anybody come? I will deal with you. My body's ready. Oh, hammer knife then. All right. Man, I did not get first strike on that. That's sad. No, I thought I had Rift Herald. That would have been a lot of extra gold. Okay, let's meditate. And uh, use this life steal to get back the full baby. Shouldn't even have meditated. We got life steal. Okay, push it in. Oh, come on. Okay, shield bow saving me. I told you there's nothing they can do against me with shield bow. What I tell you? Oh, wait. Woo! Come on, Victor, finish him. Nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Mm -mm. Nice. And that right there, folks. You know what I'm about to say. 
You know what I'm about to say. That is looking like the game right there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this shield bow master ye gameplay. More shield bow, more shield bow, give me more shield bow. Guys, we are playing some shield bow master ye today, and we are up against this team comp here. And uh, I am running some tenacity in my runes because tenacity is really helpful against Rakon, it's really helpful against LeBlanc, and it's really good against Camille. Actually, the way that you counter Rakon as Master Yi is you bring tenacity plus Merc Treads. And the reason why is because typically Rakon will do his full ult combo into his knockup, right? But if you're running tenacity, the chances of him doing that are way lower. What the world is this? I got this. Got me a free red buff, baby. Yo, if, you know, if old chat was on in the Korea server right now, I'd send him a message thanking him for my delivery. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's uh, continue working on our wolves here. Please say I'm recording this game. I am not recording this game, but that's okay, guys. I just flipped on the recording, so now if there was any chat going on, it is gone because I'm replacing it with the recording. It's great. It's great, guys. It's great. Okay, so anyway... Let's get over here to the um, the top side jungle, and we're actually just gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a point in the queue because I don't predict this Kindred's gonna be dumb enough to come up here after me again, right? That would be really, really stupid, and there's no way she would be that stupid, right? <laughs> no way, right, guys? No way. Okay, so we are playing Shilbo, and we're gonna explain why we're going Shilbo. And actually, I'm a little bit concerned about Shilbo into Kindred because of the way the Kindred's all works. I don't know what the percentage is on it. I was gonna look it up if. Her ulti can proc shield bow, or if you proc shield bow when you come out of her ulti. I mean, that will greatly decide how good shield bow is against Kindred, right? Because if we proc that ulti as soon as we come out, or we proc the shield bow as soon as we come out of her ulti, and of course it's on the other side, then it'd be a very good Kindred counter. Because she gets us low, and then we proc it, and then she can't finish us off, and we finish her off, right? But if it procs while we're in a Kindred ult, well, then that really sucks, right? That would that'd be really, really bad. So, we're going to go ahead and pivot over to this bot lane here. Oh, look at that push. And we got a crab. And I figured the crab was still up. Like, normally I wouldn't go for this. But the reason why I went for this is because I knew the crab was up. Because Kindred had to go for a top side because she already went for bot side, right? Um, yeah, if the enemy bot lane wasn't coming, I would totally help this guy out. But, you know, we got that bot diff coming in high air. Like, a full squad of four people. I don't even know what to say about that. Let's just pop a ward over here. And we are running Red Smite because, of course, Red Smite is the way to go, in my opinion. Uh, pretty much every game, except if you're going, like, first strike, then you can grab a Blue Smite. But Red Smite's basically always the way to go here. And it's going to take about 30 seconds for these to respawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish these up. And then I'm either going to go for a gank or I'm going to back. I like to have two choices of attack here. So, you know, my two choices are I back. Or I go after bottom. And, of course, since I can't go on bottom, I'm going to go ahead and choose to back here. Leanna probably wants a proc on that. Mm. Okay, so what this allows me to do is grab the pickaxe. I can grab double daggers. I can grab a sweeper. And I can also grab a pink ward. Now, you know, I'm not a big fan of buying pink wards because they don't do damage. But at the end of the day, I got to admit, pink wards are OP. And they help you survive. And they help your team survive. And it's always worth doing. Um, what that said. What that said. Um... I forgot what I was going to say. So we're going to go kill that, um, that, the Krug here. Ah, yes. I had just enough money to buy the pink ward, which is why I bought it, right? Like, if I have, like, 75 gold left over, I'll buy the pink ward. But if I can pick me up a recurve bow, you bet I'm going to pick me up that recurve bow, eh? Ain't no pink for me, boys. Ain't no pink for me. You know those kind of players that'll, like, buy a pink no matter what? Oh, bleh, You know, I'm going to throw up there. I am living proof that you can be hard stuck in D4 without buying pink wards. You're welcome if that's your goal. Um, let's go ahead and pop a pink ward over here and go down for these raptors and then continue our clear down into the grump. So, as I mentioned, I like to have two different paths at the same time, right? Right? Like, what am I going to do? And so, like, let's think about it right now. What are my two paths? One path is I'm going to go over here. My next path is I'm going to go over here, right? So you got to be ready to pivot based on what happens. And in this case, I can't, I can't help him. Oh, we barely got that. So you have to be able to pivot. So now we're still going for mid, though. Oh, we're going to miss cannon. We're still going for mid, though. But, yeah, we... Dude, what is... It? Dude, I feel like I'm lagging. Honestly, I actually feel like I'm lagging. Mm, Kendra's probably going for that crab. 
I'm going to actually back off here, and I'm going to continue going over here. I mean, Leona is coming for that gank, but I think that actually what we can do is now we're doing a second pivot. So our choice for mid is either we go... We have three choices. We go for LeBlanc, we go for this, we go for this. And actually, I'm kind of heading over to LeBlanc now. Oh, she's over here, guys. I don't know which one's a real one. Or maybe this one? I don't know. Oh, that is definitely the fake one. Where's Ezreal at? Hmm. I'm good. I'm good. I got meditate. I got meditate. Good. Good. Oh, no. There is no good on that one. Can they do this? How long on this uh, Leona here? Man, this is really close. That's really sad, though. But we're going to pick this up. I just want a dragon. Honestly, I don't know. I thought she was trying to troll me by, like, not moving. But, uh, you know, now that I think about it, she didn't really need to do that. We're going to head over to the dragon now. Uh, I got my pink to protect top side. You know, there's probably a kindred up here. Kind of sucks that we didn't manage to pick up that LeBlanc. And I did go a little bit deep on that rack on. But it did kind of force him to go back. Uh, we're going to head over to the dragon here. Uh, I'm ready for a dragon. Yeah, I think we could go ahead and secure this. We have double smite. So I do like to use double smite uh, when I can. So in this case, I just start off with smite. We go in. And the idea is that by the time we finish dragon, we're using the second smite. Okay, this guy's not having a good time. He's probably going to start pinging me soon. You guys, if you guys play Jungle Mashy, you guys know exactly how this goes. He dies, and then he pings me, and then it's all my fault, and I should apologize. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and smite that to secure it and get out of there. You can see they're coming up there. If we didn't double smite that, we would have still been in the pit. And that is the power of double smite. Uh, let's go ahead and kill these camps and hope the Kindred uh, doesn't go to my top side here. But we do have a ward, so we can kind of see if she does. Granted, she could still jump over that wall without walking past my ward, but my red is mostly protected And that's what this pink is about is preventing any surprises from happening right on that side of the jungle and uh, You know, we shouldn't have any surprises at least not in my red buff. Oh I had to take a breath of air guys. I've been talking too much it uh, it actually kind of hurts when you talk this much You know what I'm saying? Like you, you 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 guys don't understand like on YouTube when you're doing like a YouTube video like, you got to have constant talking, otherwise people get bored and skip. Don't you skip. Don't you skip. We're still talking, okay? I'm talking, and now we're going for the top side, okay? We're going for the Raptors into the red buff, so don't worry about that. This, this is what's happening here. So we got these, and also we're looking at, like, possibly securing this Rift Herald. I don't know yet what I want to do here. I kind of miss having a, what's that called? The Futures Market? Futures Market's really great because, dude, this Victor, this Victor is just... He's just, he's something else. He's something else. Um, no, I got to get the, bonk. okay, we secured it. I don't know what she's doing. She's going for my red. Oh, no. Did I get her? I think we got this because Victor's going to come back. Okay. Okay, yeah, I don't have this. I don't have this. She also failed to jump over the wall. Actually, we might have this. If we have Victor? No? Okay. Where's Victor at? Huh. He's a little slow. I thought we would definitely have Victor there, but we didn't. And that's okay because Gwen's actually a boss. I actually hate Gwen's on my team, so it's a it's a pleasure that she's actually doing some work here. Oh, uh, we do have that crab over here, but we know that um, the kindred is on the top side. So we could actually pivot over to the boss side, grab the crab, and then do our clear upwards. I got boots. Oh, man. She's actually, like, full going on that. Dude, she went from over here to over here. She has, like, no health, but she has rack on helping her out. I think that Victor just decided that, you know, he's kind of, eh, you know, I'm just going to AFK farm. My laners aren't helping me. Boo-hoo-hoo. And he did again. Um, okay. That's something. Yeah, they did secure that crab, and honestly, he should have been prepared for that because we saw her walking over there with rack on. But now what we can do is we can get a full clear, and we're looking at about 11 and a half minute Blade and Rune King here. Uh, which isn't like super great. It's not super wonderful, but considering, you know, I only have two kill participation I guess it's not terrible. Let's uh, grab ourselves the wolves here and after we get the blade ranking guys We will be getting the shield bow and uh, Yeah, I'll be grabbing that before the gunsu. So typically I'll grab gunsu's if I'm ahead shield bow if I'm behind That's kind of how I'm feeling here But it doesn't really matter you can kind of build it in whatever order you want because sometimes you're behind and You just want to do more damage, right? So you build that gunsu's 
Oh no, that dude, this uh, we're seeing a massive mid diff here, guys. Massive mid diff here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab her mark. Oh, taking a nice little breath of air here. Gwen is our hero. She has three kills somehow. Okay, did she hit all of her skill shots? Dude, there's no way to. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. My savior, Gwenny Poo. I believe we saw Kindred around the bot side is, so I actually want to skip Krugs. Again, I think this is like my third time skipping Krugs and go for Rift Herald here. And the thing is, is uh, I actually figured out about this bug from my uh, my YouTube comments is that Shelly is now walk throughable. Like I can walk through her to hit the eye as much as I want. So like I can just come up here. And the way that this works, this bug, look at this. Look how easy this is. You guys want to learn? You guys want to learn? Should I tell you? Do you guys want to learn? Look at this. Look how easy it is to hit her eye. You don't have to like walk around her. Like, tell me, tell me this isn't useful, guys. Tell me this isn't useful. Tell me you don't like this, huh? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna teach you guys. I'm gonna teach you guys. Okay, here's what you do. You need to. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, 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 I'll teach you guys again. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. So what you do is you pull it out once, and then when it resets, you can walk through it next time you pull it out. So we already pulled it out before. If you guys remember, I got chased away from it. So now. Now we can walk through it. Oh, heck no. Uh, why are you going in? We don't have a team for that. There's no, there's no team for that, Leona. All right, this Gwen's a maniac. Okay, yo, you want to help me with this or are you going to go help him with that? So here we go. We're gonna grab the dragon. My body's ready. That's a dragon secured. That's two dragons, and it's always helpful to put as much pressure as possible with the dragons because later on that will force the enemy to do something they don't want to do to try and prevent you from getting that dragon soul. And I actually really like the ocean soul, so looking forward to this one. I actually like it a lot more than the electric soul. Man, this Gwyn is crazy. I was actually talking about this earlier today. I literally never have Gwyns that perform well in any game. Even on the enemy team, I never see a Gwyn perform well. So this is kind of wild to see a Gwyn actually performing here. Bless. I love you. I heard that she's really OP in pro play, but you know what? In, in solo queue, she's absolutely dog poo. Absolutely dog poo. Okay. So you know what I'm noticing is that every time I want to take a breath of air, I just finish doing the gromp. It's like a cycle, guys. It's like a cycle. It's always on the gromp when you need to take that breath of fresh air. So now we're on the wolves here. We're getting marked by Kindred, and I absolutely need to go back at some point here to pick up my Blade and Rune King. Unfortunately, the mark is on my Krugs here, so Victor's going to go out of his way to try and clear these, which is... Okay, he literally altered the camp. Well, you know, it's going great. You know, he's having a hard time, guys. I'm not going to actually judge him or anything like that. Um, so what I'm going to do here is finish this Raptor camp and then after the Raptor camp we're going to look at going back and buying the components of our shield bow. Let me finish this real quick and there we got it. So the Kindred is still sitting here. She's same level as me. I'm not level 10 yet. Uh, we can grab the Blade of Rune King here and we actually have enough, just enough for the Noon Quiver, which is fantastic. My Pink Ward is standing the test of time. Check this one out, guys. We got the Distinguished Ward of Amazingness here. And we're going to head over down to the bot lane. And once we get the Shield Bow, it, it's actually, you become so tanky when you get Shield Bow. I don't like to rush it as a first item because the thing is, is like the health on the Shield Bow scales over time with your level, right? And on top of that, the more legendary items you have, the more HP you get from your Shield Bow. And uh, so that just makes Shell Bow just a really wonderful item to get as a second or third item. And I like to get it as a third item typically, but I uh, want to make sure that I get Shell Bow in every single one of my games here for you guys. So. Whee! Okay, I'll take it. Okay, interesting usage of the stopwatch. I got Meditate in one second. Okay, I'm going deep. Ooh, that's how you do it right there. Mm -mm -mm. That's why you level up your meditate, boys and girls. It's like it's like eating your vitamins. That's what that's like. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that crab there. And we are in awesome shape. We're going to grab ourselves the Gromp. And then we're actually just going to clear upwards until we have enough for that shield bow. Because we need 500 gold and one full clear upwards will give us enough for that gold there. Um, 
Oh, I need a breath of air. You know, I'm, I'm back on my grump, guys. So it's naturally I just need a nice little breath of air. Oh, there we go. The breath of air. The breath of air. Um, Let's grab these wolves. And then we're going to go for our top side. Yo, don't even think about taking my red buff, Mr. Ezreal. And honestly, it's all thanks to um this... This, uh, whatchamacallit, this Gwen. Gwen is keeping us in this game when honestly we should not still be in this game. So thank you, Gwen. Oh, look at all this treasure hunter gold we got. Mm, 550. Now, the thing is, guys, is like a lot of people think that the ulti hunter is better than treasure hunter. But I kind of disagree. I think, like, okay, pure value wise, yes, absolutely. The ulti cooldown is worth more than 550 gold. But the difference is, is when do you get that 550 gold? Right? If you can get that 550 gold in the first 10 minutes of the game, that is worth more than having a shorter ulti cooldown. Now, later in the game, obviously, the ulti hunter is worth more. And there's also sometimes you get to a point where you can't actually have more gold, right? But you can always use that extra ulti cooldown, right? And that's a thing. But the ulti hunter gets you to that point. Or, sorry, the treasure hunter gets you to that point. So there's some games that you're like, man, I really wish I had ulti hunter here. But you wouldn't have made it to that point if you didn't have the extra gold from your treasure hunter, right? Pick up the shield bow here. My pink ward's still up. I was going to buy another one, but it's already up. We got a camp up here. I'm not really too worried about it. Gwyn is pushing. I'm 3 to 3 It's only 9 to 13 but guys, we're actually winning harder than just four kills. And the reason why is we now have two towers. We just picked up a tower here. And we also have these two dragons. And we're going to be picking up a third dragon really soon. And that's kind of uh, that's kind of something I like to do as Mashi, is I like to continuously secure dragons, right? Because when you continuously secure dragons... Again, you force the enemy to do things that they don't want to do because they have to prevent you from getting that dragon soul. I'm going to come over here and just uh, kill these two suckers. Bonk. Okay, that has been bonked. The Kindred just going to put it in. I don't know why she has this mark on me. She's never going to kill me. I'm too good at this game. All right, she has a Gale Force. This is great, actually. Uh, she does not have an ability to get to this dragon to try and prevent it. So we can secure this third dragon. And honestly, Kindred's only one level behind me. So this could go either way. And my team's not actually preventing her from coming here. Which uh, is fine because it actually ended up working out. Victor's going to clear out my top side. So it actually ended up being worth it because I didn't uh, have to clear my own top side. Victor got it for me. We're going to grab our blue buff and then we're going to head over to the Gromp. And you know what I'm going to do when I get over to the Gromp, guys. You know what I'm going to do when I get over to the Gromp. I am going... <sighs> To take a breath of air. You know, I'm just uh, making sure that I can uh, have me some extra air here by between this. Thank you, Grump, for uh, being my my checkpoint for the breath of air. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to kill these wolves. Go up to the rafters. What is this? What is this? Okay, you guys want to see something cool? Watch this. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm not interested. Okay. Nothing cool going on there, guys. Nothing cool going on there. Yeah, we're just going to back up a little bit. Something cool. That was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and kill ourselves some uh, raptors here. And, uh, yeah, no big deal. No big deal. It looks like they're doing a pretty good job of splitting into top lane. But I have to be there to help them with the other side. I'm right here. Did I get her? Oh, she got shielded by the Rakon. That sucks. Yo, Gwen, you take this. All you, man. You've been carrying me all game. I am blessing you with my massive, my massive, uh, my massive blue buff, all right? Uh, let's come around. Let's see if there's any camps over here. I really want to get a Baron. Oh, enemy team's playing very aggressively. I don't know, dude. It's really rare to see a Gwen carry, honestly. I don't know. Picking up these Raptors here. Gwen is doing the work. Man, why is that Kindred so squishy? Huh. Yeah, I'm just going to fish these off. Okay, you guys want to see something cool? You guys want to see something? Oh, she's she not here. Okay, never mind. Guys, I'm just trying to show you guys a bunch of cool things. But no cool things. No cool things are had today. Okay, wait a minute. My team just died. They just fed a shutdown. Who got it? LeBlanc? Well, guys, looks like we're going to need a wits in, huh? Actually, she has penetration. You know what we could do? We could actually run an Anathema's chain into the LeBlanc since she's the only fed person on the team. And I actually legitimately think that might be a good idea. Like, Anathema's chain's very, very powerful, especially if uh, you got one person that's really fed on the enemy team. 
So, yeah, and it's very, very cheap, and it gives you a mythic item, which then gives you more mythic, or sorry, gives you a legendary item, and then your mythic item actually gives you even more stats, right? So, I'm going to come over here. Is that Gromp up? No, I'm going to sit in this bush. I'm going to sit in this bush, guys. Right here, something's going to happen. You got to be patient. Oh, God. Did he ward this? Get me out of here, guys. Get me out of here. He did not ward that. Oh, Kindred's right there. Hey, Kindred, what's up? Yeah, I'm just going to go take that top side here. And I'm actually really thinking about that anathema. I actually think it would be really, really good. And it also, you know, it lowers the tenacity of the person that you're standing beside. which, Or, sorry, the person that you have it on. So, you know, that's something. Um, yeah, maybe we will consider running it. I'm actually kind of for it. But, you know, Whitson's a really great, a really great item to have on you. It's very cost efficient. And obviously, it helps against the block. But nobody else on her team really does that magic damage. And she has a Void Staff, right? So with the Void Staff, she's effectively cutting your MR really, really hard. So I'm in a completely non-trolly way, guys. I actually think Anathmas might be the play here. It might be the play here. So let's go ahead and secure these Raptors. Hello, Raptors. Give me everything. What is this, Kendra? Is she trying to get into that Baron? You can't solo Baron, bro. Where is she? She's in this bush. There's no way she's not in this bush. I'm coming. Okay, she's not in that bush. Okay, she's in this bush. Okay, she's not in this bush. Okay. She's in no bushes, guys. She's in no bushes. How much damage has Shilbo done? Zero blocked. You know what, guys? It happens. But we are going to have a great fight. I'm showing you how even with Shilbo. See, that's the thing. is What we're showing you is even with Shilbo, you still do a lot of damage. Right? You don't need a Kraken to do a lot of damage. Oh, I want to kill her. I can actually kill her. I'm debating. Because if I die, we might lose Dragon. Hmm. Ow. Ow. That that really that was really painful, but um, you know, that's okay because you know what I can actually do here? Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was such a nice shot. That was actually such a nice shot there. Um, yeah, so I had to flash on her. Once Kindred's coming up, I had to flash on her before the fight started. And then, unfortunately, I did get hit by the CC. Uh, yeah, that was really great. So we could actually we could start pivoting towards getting some tenacity or whatever. But actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the Gunsu's Rage Blade so I have more damage. Because I do, I do kind of feel like I want more damage. Maybe I don't need damage. Maybe I should just go tank. Maybe. Maybe. I do feel like I need more damage if I'm going to try to do those kind of splitty fights there, though. So, uh, we have enough here. Let's go ahead and drop this and grab ourselves an attack speed dagger and head over to Baron. So, I'm going to do Baron while my team does this thing over here. And actually, Shield Bow is really, really good for doing Baron uh, compared to Kraken. Kraken's great because you continuously do that true damage of Baron. Pew, pew, right? But... The shield bow is really great because uh, it continuously sustains you while you're hitting the Baron, and it keeps you at a good amount of health, and you don't have to use your Highlander, right? So Kraken is the faster Baron, but if you're willing to invest more time into it, shield bow is the safer Baron. So, you know, that's entirely up to you. But, of course, we have the Ocean Dragon, so we shouldn't struggle with Baron at all here, and we could just continuously hit it here and just keep dodging. And then, of course, you, could dot, uh, you can drop... Whenever I do Baron, I like to double smite it if I can, right? I'll just drop a smite on it, and then at the end, I'll drop another smite on it. And, of course, before you smite it, you want to make sure that you take a little bit of damage. Whoops. You want to take a little bit of damage. That way, you can use the smite to full heal you. Uh, shell Bow. Yo, Shell Bow blocked for 511. All right, it's time for revenge. Oh. Okay, see, guys? Look at that. Like, why do you need Kraken when Shield Bow does that? Right? Why would you need that? It doesn't make any sense. Um, honestly, I think she would have been better off trying to fight, though. I don't know. But that damage is insane, right? And that's why... See, I, I've been trying to tell you guys this for so long. You don't need Kraken. You need the survivability from Shield Bow. Like, like, how would Kraken... I would have done, like, 120 extra damage with Kraken there. Plus some of the attack speed, right? But then I'm missing out on that extra survivability. Oh. Rip shield bow. <laughs> Rip shield bow. Okay. And let's see. Let's continue this. And now we can push into here. And hopefully you guys learn that shield bow is not super required, right? So let's get into the next. Wait. No. Kraken. Kraken. The Kraken is not super required. Shield bow gives you enough damage. Now let's go into the next game. Okay, guys. We are playing some shield bow master Yi, And my team's already asking for 15. This is great. That's how I love to see it. 
And you know what, guys? I have faith. Check out this enemy team comp. Holy crap, it is actually amazing. Um, maybe it is a 15? Um, um, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe? Maybe? Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves our red buff here. Pull up into this crab. Oh, their Lee Sin is their top lane. I guess it's not that amazing. Uh, maybe I'll go for a gank in top lane. This Lee Sin's really aggressive. Uh, I didn't even check, honestly, to see if these players were, like, auto-filled or anything. Let's take a look. Lee Sin is a mid-top main. Their Karthus is a mid main and their duo with Ari and Samira. Oh, they oh they swapped. Oh, these two are duo. Hmm. I don't know. That's really weird. Anyway, the bot duo just got handed a new one. Oh, we have a bot duo. Oh, everybody's bot duo. Okay, wait, my Akali has a zero games played on Akali. I don't know, guys. This is this is I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. Oh man. I just wanted some treasure hunter. I wanted some treasure hunter. All right, so Rek'Sai is actually going to swap me jungles here. I get his bot. He gets his top. Or wait, 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 wait. I get his top. He gets my bot. But that's fine. I'm actually wanting to try a new build this game. I'm going to explain it to you guys. I get the Gunju's Rage Blade into Shield Bow, which then increases how much damage I do. Come on. Do it. Do it. All right, I'm going to go take the Gromp now. <laughs> I'm going to take the Gromp now. I ain't done, Lee. I ain't done. You want to help your jungler? Stop me from taking his grump, bro. Oh, he went, he, he's full on top lane, dude. He, he ain't taking none of that. Okay, so we're going to grab this. You know, everybody's having a good time here. I'm going to go grab these wolves, and then I'm probably going to go gain top lane again. I think that sounds like a plan. And we'll probably just go ahead and leave him a little wolf. There we go. Okay, one little wolf has been left for this beautiful Rek'Sai. Oh, I can actually probably just jump in and gank that. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk up and kill him. Mmm. Mm, ah! That felt real good. What a dive! I mean, I'd be a little bit tilted if I was that guy because now he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have his ability or the flash. But bro, I do not have anything. I mean, I'm down. Oh, well, that's really rough, huh? Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's uh, really rough that he managed to kind of burrow that. Oh, my bot lane's losing now. Oh, he got charmed. And they did. But you know what? At the end of the day, guys, that's okay. Because I'm going to go camp top lane. Because this Lee Sin looks like he's not having a good time. All right, I want that treasure hunter. I'm coming full in for the treasure hunter. I think this is warded. A pretty good chance this is warded. I'm going in. Okay, Akali, if you could give me that assist, I'd be so grateful. Do you have flash? You do not. Okay, well, you know, I gotta go back and I gotta buy. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to Rage Rageblade. I told you guys I would do it. And I will hold true to my promise. We're going to get the Oracle Lens. We're going to get that uh, item that converts our crit into on hit. And then we're going to get that on hit. Uh-oh. Looks like uh, Jungle Diff coming in on the top lane, guys. Can you at least kill the Lee? No. <sighs> That's uh, unfortunate. But, you know, we're still sitting on a 5-4. Enemy Samira is getting fed. I'm going to be honest, guys. Lulu support sounds absolutely butt, butt hair to deal with. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to deal with that, guys. I don't want to deal with that. And my Grom's gone. How long has this been gone? Okay, that guy just died to a tower. Okay, I'm just going to go in for this dragon. Yeah, I need some help here. Uh, Rek'Sai's in top lane. Oh, Akali kicking some butt. Yeah, dude, I don't really care. If you know I'm in dragon, I'm going to keep doing it. There's nothing you can do about it. Oop. Yeah, go ahead. Try and steal it, guys. Oh, yeah, nice ward. Nice ward. See ya. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Wait, does he already have his upgraded ward trinket? No, not yet, right? So that would have just been a trinket. So I don't really care about that. Let's go and grab level three alpha strikes so that we can uh, clear a little bit faster. Oh, baby. I need to hit level six here. Let me go ahead and clear Gromp. Not too bad. My bot lane wants a gank. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. They pinged enough. Maybe I understand. 
I understand. I understand. She also doesn't have a ward. She's just using a dragon. So I'm just going to roll up on this. Cards is level 6. Bro, why is he already 6, man? Bro, I took so much damage. Okay, that wasn't bad. Nice. Oh. Nice. Nice. That was a double. Oh, nice, nice, nice. They killed them all. And I got an assist on that. Nice. Triple kill Ash. Although I think Ash is one of the most useless champions in the game, so her getting a triple doesn't exactly bring calmness over me. But it's better than not a triple Ash. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Uh, this Karthus versus LeBlanc lane, man. He got her. Bro, I can't even tell which one's a real LeBlanc. Look at these moves, dude. You told me that guy was scripting. I would believe you. I believe you. That guy got some moves. Guys, my nose is really itchy, but I don't want to look like the kind of guy that, like, picks his nose or anything, so I'm not going to do anything. <sighs> okay, I feel a little bit better now. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves these wolves. Guys, it's still itchy. <laughs> okay. We're going to grab ourselves these wolves and go for that top side here. Uh, no problem. No problem. We do want to go ahead and secure ourselves the shield bow ASAP. And that's also, that's why we're going the route that we're going with this Rage Blade. Because the Rage Blade is much quicker to make. And that means that the shield bow comes in quicker. And then the shield bow also gives us our passive bonus quiz quicker. Because uh, there's a legendary item here. I actually think Rek'Sai's here. I'm just going to take a look here at the red buff. I think he's in... Uh, He has to be here. There's just no other way. Like, he was just right there. Okay, my bot lane's killing it. Never mind. Okay, there's like three people top. I don't even know how to feel about that. I guess what we'll do is we'll just go to Sweep Herald. And this will give us info on whether or not Rek'Sai decides he wants to do it. Looks like she doesn't. Uh, bot lane looks like they definitely came out on top in that last exchange. I kind of want to go for Rift, but I think what we're going to do is get the Krugs, go back, get Gunja's Rage Blade, and pat towards bot. Let's uh, grab the Krugs. Fantastic. What level are these? Level 4. This is looking really good. This is a really solid, chill game. I always find, so there's this little app here that tells me how much gold behind I am. And I always find that I'm always behind early. Every time. Like, I don't know what kind of players get so much kill participation every game. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. I really don't. Like, they always have, like... This insane kill participation, and I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that guy, that guy tried, he was trying a sneaky one. He wanted to get through there, but I heard it. When I heard his Q hit a minion, I was ready. Like, I knew, I knew where he was going to go with that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. So we see Karthus backing. I actually have no idea where Rek'Sai is because I was paying too much attention at least then. But I imagine Rek'Sai is probably on my side, huh? Should have saved my alpha, but, you know, I cannot contain my excitement, guys. Okay, okay. The Ash lane performing. Performing. Okay, Rek'Sai bot. That's good, actually. That means I can uh, take Rek'Sai's uh, bot side farm. Or top side, I mean. I'll just go ahead and grab that just to be safe. Secured. We got Dragon. We got Rift. We're controlling all the objectives. Wow, she was just over here recently. Let's grab ourselves the Gromp. My bot lane. How you guys doing? Man, like, Rek'Sai is just such a pain with Prowler's Claw. Like, the instant knockup is just such a pain. All right. I ain't going to give Karthus any more, any more damage than he deserves. Let's go ahead and walk up towards top. I have a good feeling that this is not warded. I don't know how I feel about this Lee Sin top, guys. Hmm. I think we just dive, honestly. I got I got full Rift Herald here. Hmm. Go ahead, Lee. All right, not too bad. Now we can actually secure a full tower here. I'm going to go ahead and summon this a little bit earlier than normal because me and Akali are doing a bunch of damage to this tower. So I, I have a pretty good feeling that we're going to be able to get it within execute range in no time. Man, what is going on in that enemy bot lane, dude? Yo, they got to be on voice right now being like, hey, you got to 
You gotta take the aggro for me. What are you doing? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we're gonna continue this push here. I got 3k gold, guys. You know what I should do? I should just rush a shield bow. I should do it. For you guys. So that you guys can see it's a shield bow game. Okay. Hmm. It's really interesting. I'm not sure why you did that. No! <laughs> well, that guy just got a bunch of gold. You know what? I'm going to do it. I got a shield bow. I got me another crit cloak. I got me this. We're working on that Gunju's Rage. Man, my bot lane going ham. Uh... Bro, I don't know. Like, I look at the enemy bot lane, and I'm like, man, that's a really great bot lane. And then they somehow feed Ash 10 kills. I don't know how they did it. I don't know. Looks like Rek'Sai's wants to join in on the kill feeding here. Okay. Okay, Ash just got another kill. You know what? Did I say Ash is a bad champ? No, 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 no. I didn't mean it, guys. But I did get my shield bow and straight into Gunzu's Rage Blade. The thing I love about the idea with the Gunzu's and the shield bow is the synergy. You got two synergies. Your first synergy is the crit. Right? The crit turning into crit or into on hit. And the second synergy is that since Gunzu's is such a fast item to create, you're instantly getting that extra health and AD from your mythic passive. That is great. Okay, LeBlanc just picked up the double. I'm going to go push mid because we know that Karthus is no longer here because he just entered in bot lane. So we can actually pick up some plates here in the mid lane. Oh my god. We're not going to talk about that, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to casually pick up some plates here, guys. Oh, I casually did not get a single plate there. Uh-oh. Shield bow, baby. No, my plate, please. I didn't get any plates, guys. There were no plates for me. That would have been my Gunzu. You know what? I'm going to sit here. I'm going to wait patiently in the fountain for me to get this Gunzu's Rage Blade. I'm, I'm going to wait patiently. Mm. I had somebody in one of my previous games. They told me that shield bow on Yi sucks because it got nerfed. But the thing is, guys, is a shield bow nerf was actually fine. I believe, I don't remember exactly how it works, but I believe we get more HP now instead of uh, some of the sustain, right? So overall, it's looking, I really like how Shield Bow is in its current state. I really like having the extra HP. I really like the extra health. It's uh, just really, really, really solid. Really, really solid item. Uh, let's go pick up our red buff, though. I mean, at this point, Ash probably wants it. I never understood that. Is there a reason that Ash players want red buff? Is it just like the burn damage? The slows don't stack, right? Because, you know, I could also apply that burn damage. I also could. Uh, let's grab ourselves this camp. Very nice. Man, this... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, guys. I saw this enemy team comp, and I thought for sure we were done. I thought we were done, though. I'm like, man, Karth is mid. Rek'Sai jungle. They got a Lee Sin. They got an Ari support plus a Samira. Bro, it just... It just sounds devilish, guys. Like a devilish team compare. I actually thought we were going to struggle a bit. Okay. Let's kill this blue buff. Fantastic, folks. Dude, I love pausing E during Alpha Strike now. It was just such... It was such a needed change. It was such a good and needed change. Uh, am I missing a bounty on Samira and Ari? Oh, the feeding bot lane. Hey, boys. That's a slice. A slice of love. Hey, Ari. I need your... Uh, I really, really want your uh, shutdown. Oh, come on, man. Dude, why, why does... Come on, please, 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 please. Whee! Okay, I got 25 gold from that. She can't be worth much money. Okay. Oh, Samira, Samira, I need your bounty. I need your bounty. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Wait, is that all you're going to give me, Lou? Come back. Oh, no. No, there's a Lee Sin. Oh, no. Okay, that was rough. But Akali's here to give me my my shutdown. Nice. Wait. No, no, Akali, Akali, Akali. Yes, okay. Dude, I don't know how she dashes that much, but I do appreciate the extra money. Okay, that, that was rough for them. 
So next up, guys, we're going to be focusing on getting the Blade and Ring King because Blade and Ring King is kind of, uh, it's really, really strong on knee right now. And if you ever want damage, this is how you do it. Okay, Rex, I want a little bit of ham there. And we actually get to pick up the dragon now. I think he's a little bit tilted. Oh, my God, we're 22 kills ahead of them. What happened this game, guys? What happened? But you got to keep in mind, guys, these games are still totally throwable. You got to be really, really, really careful that you do not throw the game at this point. And it's kind of out of your hands here because you got the 700 gold on LeBlanc, 450 on this guy. You're not controlling whether or not they throw and give away these shutdowns. Because as I mentioned, the enemy team comes really disgusting. And even though it looks like we're winning really hard right now, we have to continue to deny the enemy the objective bounties. That's the Rift Herald. We have to deny Rift Herald. We have to deny Dragon. And we have to hope that our teammates do not feed, which is kind of out of our hands. But you can kind of assist them. Because this game's still completely losable, just strictly because of team comp. I think their team comp's really great. This guy gets his Anyas, this guy gets his Anyas. Like, this game could go a completely different way if we're not careful. Hey, buddy. Um, yeah, that guy's worth 140 gold. Now, I know some of you guys may be thinking I'm playing against bots. <laughs> They're not bots. Okay, you, you saw the ranks earlier. These are diamond players. Ah, this guy's a plat 2 player. Um, they're just behind and they're tilted. You know, and it happens. This happens a lot, actually. But remember, if these players can get diamond, if you're not diamond, you can get diamond. It is, seriously, like, diamond as an elo is one of the, like, best elos in the game to strive for. Did he just flash into that arrow? I'm pretty sure he just flashed into that arrow. <laughs> he flashed into the arrow. Oh, my God, I can't summon. I can't summon. It won't let me. Hmm. Like, the thing about Diamond, what I love about Diamond is they're good enough that it's accomplishing to hit Diamond. But they're bad enough that it's reasonable to improve yourself to hit Diamond. Does that make sense? It's, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, Alright, just missed everything. Hmm. Well, Shelly's dead. It's just essentially the players are good enough that you should feel accomplished if you hit diamond. But they're bad enough that there's a lot of room to improve to hit this elo to begin with. Okay, slice and dice. And that looks like it's going to be game right there. So we're just going to push this in. And hopefully you guys enjoyed my shield bow rush game where I essentially got carried by an ash AD carry, which is the most terrible AD carry I've ever seen in my life. Okay, guys, so we're playing some, I guess, Shield Bow Master Yi this game. Uh, looking at the enemy team comp. We're also running some lethal tempo with Red Smite. Um, and we have a Blitzcrank bot lane. And you know what I think about Blitzcrank bot lanes, guys? Is that you can always gank a Blitzcrank bot lane. And that's what I love about this particular team comp. So we're going to be looking at possibly ganking this Blitzcrank bot lane. But first, let's kill these Krugs and then walk up and see what we're going to do with this Blitzcrank bot lane. And we'll kill these Krugs. And then we'll head over. Well, I mean, the thing is, is they also have Leona, which is good. Oh. Which is good because there's a chance that Leona will actually engage for us. And when Leona engages, it puts her really far out so that I can manage to pick up a free kill that way. For some reason, I am lagging. I'm feeling the FPS lag. I'm going to turn that off real soon. Okay, so my bot lane hit level 2. They hit level 2. Okay, I got the alpha bounce on Leona, which gave me the bounty that I wanted. And now we're going to be heading over. Well, actually, if it's Shaco and he started in red buff, I'm going to actually walk up to his blue buff and use this opportunity to put a ward over the wall here. And then that'll give us uh, some knowledge of Shaco. I got 15 seconds on the smite, though. Hmm, did we see him in mid when I wasn't watching? I need to look at my minimap better, guys. Oh. Oh, well, you know, it do be like that. Somehow, Leona got the kill off of that. <laughs> somehow, somehow, I didn't even know her E did damage, to be honest. I actually, I had no idea. But today I learned her E does damage, enough damage to actually secure a blue buff. And, uh... You know, that's uh, that's definitely something I learned today. Let's go ahead and run over here. Cool. We managed to secure all that. And we also secured the blue buff 
And what we're gonna do is grab this crab, and then we're gonna go over here to the raptors. And then after we grab raptors, we're gonna back, and we're gonna thank those two people that just subscribed to me. So let's do that. Okay, so recurve bow into longsword into sweeper. Okay, so we are at the crux now, and let me explain why I didn't go topside, guys. So um, I kind of obviously knew Shaco was gonna clear my topside when I got his boss side, and I spent a bunch of time down there. We don't know what he did with my wolves or if he left my wolves. Somebody did scout the Gromp and the Gromp's gone, which is to be expected. I knew it'd be gone. And that's why we decided to back after the Raptors, right? Because you don't, like, even if you want a little bit of extra gold, you don't want to waste your time going into a camp that probably doesn't exist. Mm, let's roll up. This is warded. Oh, there's a shack over here. Oh. Oh, I almost got away. You'll finish him off, bro. I almost got away there. That was pretty crazy, actually. Ooh, got an assist on that guy, too. Sweet. Old Jin just flashed. Is he going to get that? Nice, dude. That's crazy. Let's grab this and uh, grab a pink and then head back to our topside jungle now that it respawned. See, and people say TikTok doesn't make any money. It just indirectly made me money through that subscription. Uh, thank you, Double O Steve, for the Prime, bro. Kisses, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so popping my pink ward over here in this bush. It's one of my favorite bushes to pop. Let's boom, hit that. Renekton sitting on 0-0. Zero, zero. He's half to CS of Graves. He's getting denied quite hard. But we're managing to put a lot of work into this bot lane. And, you know, that's going to count for something. I don't want to go to a level 6 Graves lane anyway. But we're doing okay in terms of feed. Our gold's looking really good. We need to get to the Blade and Ring King. Renekton just kind of dashing around like a crocodile, you know? Oh, he did take the big one and left the small ones. What a guy. What a guy. Let's At least he left me both of them. I'm actually going to head over to top lane here. I think if uh, Renekton hits level 6, which he will, we can actually gank this. We're going to do a little bit of sweeping. Hmm. And uh, we're going to blast plan over. Oh, I just warded that. Well, that's okay. Okay. Well, I burnt a flash. I'll take it. That's something. Shaco's probably nearby. So I'm just going to go ahead and back up to over here. I wonder if he can see me backing. Yeah, Shaco's definitely there. So be careful. Oh, Renekton's going deep, folks. He's going deep. And he got him. Very nice. We're going to make our way over to the bot side. Wait. Oh. Huh. I actually kind of would prefer to have my pink ward over here on the red side because I feel like protecting my red buff is so much more important than protecting the blue side. But um, for some reason, I felt like my lane, since I have so much more bot prio, that you know there's less they're less likely to come over here to the point where I don't really need to ward it. Let's go ahead and jump into this dragon. Oh, I'm gonna jump into dragon and do this dragon here. Uh, I should have leveled up Q instead of E there. Okay, this dragon kind of hurts. And by the way, these dragons do percent current health damage. So you want to wait until after you're done with the dragon before you chug your pot or you meditate or anything like that. Because you'll see the damage goes down 62, 58. That one did 50 something, right? So you go ahead and you secure it that way. And now you can chug your pots. Very nice. And uh, Blitzcrank just died. Looks like Shaco's having a hard time with that clone over there. I could potentially dive that, but it looks like he's back, so it's not going to happen. Bro, I don't know what's going on with top lane. I guess I'm making my way up the to top, guys. Just going to walk through this wave here. Walk through this wave instead of, like, clearing upwards. Because we want to be able to put some pressure on here and make sure that this Graves doesn't, uh... Okay. Well, you know what? I don't mind if I do. I guess I'll take Shelly. We do have a Shaco nearby, and I do not have, uh... I don't have smite, so that's something you want to be careful of. Because the Shaco just leaps over and then smites it. I'm kind of dead, though, huh? Can you um, ward it? No, no, bro. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to save the eye. You're supposed to save the eye as a smite, guys. Wait, is this guy I want my blue buff? Okay, good. This blue buff is mine. We actually almost have enough for that Blade of Ring King at the 924 mark, which is pretty fantastic. And then after Blade of Ring King, as promised, I will show you guys a little bit of Shield Bow. Oh, who died? Leona? Oh, little Leona got Jen. Wow, she got shut down. Nice. Getting that level 3E. I find that whenever I level up an early W, 
Um, I always end up accidentally not putting any points in the queue, right? So, let's grab this and walk up to here and see if we can't make a move on this uh, Graves. Got him. Secured. And we saved uh, Renekton in the process, right? It's all good. All right. We're going to go full in with this Shelly. That, you know, he should just get in the middle and heal off of him. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And we're going to full push us. I'm pretty sure we can full push us. If he has TP, I'll just dive him. But I think we could just full push this tower. Mmm. Does not look like he has TP. Let's put down Shelly. Uh, of course, you want to wait until the tower has under three plates because Shelly does true damage and the tower gets higher armor the lower it is. So you kill it while it has low armor and then you summon Shelly afterwards. I say we just uh, we keep going, bro. Let's keep going. I feel like we have full control over this game here. And then... Uh, got him. Champion attack on. Wait. Okay, that's another kill in the Graves. You know, Graves players deserve that. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Nobody, nobody likes a Graves player, all right? Don't, don't be a Graves player. Okay, I'm sitting on a healthy 3,000 gold. You know what? I just want to get out of here. I'm getting chased. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, this is not fine. <laughs> So somebody wanted to know about target champions only. So the way that it works is you turn it into a toggle. So when you're under a tower, you always be able to hit the champion, right? So the toggle by default is your tilde key, the top left-hand corner of the keyboard. And what you want to do is you want to go to game and turn it as a toggle. By default, this is off, so it's, it does this. It's only when you hold it. You want to turn it as a toggle and turn it off and on. Uh, let's kill these Krugs. And then we're going to be looking at grabbing ourselves the red buff. So, like, we grab Krugs, Raptors, red buff, dragon. We have one dragon. Mmm, give me that. This is what I like to see. A few Raptors. Give me those Raptors. Okay, so after the Raptors, we secured a red. And then after red, we tried to secure the, uh, the uh, dragon here. Okay, so the red is secure. Now we're looking at either... Oh, man. The Malzahar R button. My favorite. Well, looks like... It, oh, we got her. Okay, so let's grab ourselves this dragon. Man, it's a 22 to 7, guys. We doing it. See, that's what happens when you focus on your bot lane. And honestly, top lane didn't do bad. I mean, he did really bad in CS, but he managed to stay alive. And honestly, it's just... uh. I don't know. I feel like Renekton's just such a good pick. It's very surprising, but more people don't play him. I don't know. I really like that champion. Oh. I got this. Where are you going? Wee! Triumph heal! Oh. All right. Into our top side, guys. We're going to grab the components for the shield bow. Which will make us impossible to kill, hopefully. And then also, like, another thing that would be really interesting here is, like, going Sunfire Yi. Because when you're playing into Leona, the tenacity on the Sunfire is just really good. And it stacks pretty well, even with uh, Legend Tenacity. I always bring Legend Tenacity against Leona, right? It stacks pretty well, um, even with that. So that's something you can consider as well. But I think Shield Bow, I personally, my personal opinion, is that Shield Bow is the best Mythical Mastery right now. Followed by probably Kraken. And then after that, it doesn't really matter, right? Maybe maybe some Fire Aegis even is pretty good, too. It just does a lot of damage in combination with Master Yi. But uh, this will get us to the Sunfire security. Uh, I'm not needed anywhere, so I'm going to back and grab that uh, Shield Bow, and that'll make me really good. As I run back to lane, it always really amazes me what some people in chat always try to justify. Last game, there was a lane that I didn't gank at all because it was a losing lane, and I got blamed for ganking it. This game, I ganked the crap out of bot lane and put Jin severely ahead, and now Chad's complaining that I'm getting carried. You really, you can't, you can't please bad players, guys. You can't please bad players. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to our Rift Herald, and we need to deny them the objective bounties. <clears throat> so the idea is if we deny them the objective bounties, it's a lot harder for them to come back, right? Especially when it comes to Rift Herald, because if they get a Rift Herald, they can instantly take down towers and really get themselves back into the game, right? So let's, uh, oh, hmm, I don't have E to help my team there. I think my team's doing okay, though. Mm. 
What in the world? <laughs> Wait, what? What in the world am I watching, guys? I don't even know what's going on. I thought Shaco might be in that fight, but he wasn't in a fight. And then I thought he might clone, but he appeared too quickly. And I'm like, that's not a Shaco clone. I don't know what's going on here. So let's put this down here. And now let's shove this in. Oh, good kill, Jen. Good kill. Let's go. Keep on pushing, team. No fear. No fear. Yo, can you give me a hook, buddy? Hey, guys. Ooh, that crit was pretty juicy. Oh, excellent hook by that blitz there. Uh, we have a dragon coming up in 14. Honestly, I feel like I should probably give red to Jin, but... He's nowhere near, and I could just pick it up, so I'm going to do that right now. And then we'll grab ourselves this dragon. This will be the third dragon for this game. I'm sorry, Jen. You probably wanted it. And, guys, we're going to be going for Rage Blade as our next item over Death Dance. I personally feel like whenever you're this far ahead, right, you just you go for the uh, you go for as much damage as possible. And that's what we're doing here. Hey, guys. I'm just killing this dragon. Don't mind me. I'm going deep. I'm going super deep. Wee! Wait, did you just steal that, man? Yeah, this Jen going wild, man. He's going wild. He's too much power going to his head, dudes. He's still in Master Yi kills. I guess this is what I get for taking the red buff. Oh, hey, buddy. Wee! I can't move, but I have shield bow, so it's fine. Uh, get away from me. Jeez, man. <laughs> this, this is like Victor all bros. All right, drop the boots and buy the Guntu's Rage Blade. All right, my team is on the run, and I'm going to be honest, guys. I want some of this. Oh, come on. Oh, he lived. Nice, my Penta. Oh, maybe not. Oh, look at that. He dashed into me. What a nice guy. Oh, and then he flashed away. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go secure that Baron now. When you're running three items like this, it's really easy to secure the Baron. Or, you know, the enemy team will just surrender, and I should have bought his Zanyas to increase the pick rate of Zanyas. But... There you go. That's shield bow game. And you can see when diving, the shield bow actually did a lot that game. Blech. All right. Hey, guys. We're playing another shield bow mash -y game this game. However, the enemy team comp is looking really interesting with Diana, Rumble, and Morgana. So we might actually change it up a little bit. And I will let you guys know as the game goes on. Hopefully, you're enjoying the games today. We are going to do this clear on the red buff. I really wish I was on blue team. I love blue team so much more than red team. But, um... That's okay. You know, it happens, guys. It happens. So let's pop this pot, go over here, jump over the wall. And we're probably going to prepare for a nice early gank on this rumble here. And what we're going to do is clear these Krugs right here. And then after these Krugs, we get that gank on the rumble. So let me do that real quick. I just received a bunch of sub gifts here. And for the sake of not ruining the video too much, I'm going to go ahead and disable those. But I will thank you very, very soon, my friend. Thank you so much, Snow Bunting, for the 10 sub gifts. Well, I love you. Let's go over here to the rumble in the top lane here. And uh, can we do anything with this? No. No, we cannot do anything with that. Let's go over here down into the blue side. And we're going to grab ourselves the blue buff and start uh, pushing into the jungle here with Diana. She's going to try to hit her Q and then jump over the wall and do that. So let me grab this. I think I can do it. Yep, she's, uh, she's in the wolves right now. So I'm actually going to smite that early, and I'm going to wait. Because she's going to try to jump over, but... Oh, she did not jump over. Well, I wish I had lethal tempo right now, honestly, guys. That would have been uh, pretty pretty clutch. Oh, I am in trouble. I'm in trouble. I, I have to run it down. Just give it only to Diana instead of the double solo. All right, so Darius is walking up on this guy. She has... Oh, he got the Gromp too, man. That's really unfortunate for her. Actually, dude, Darius has double. He has double buff now. Why is he losing this so bad with doubles? Oh, 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 that was uh, really great for me to um, to experience there. I felt like I unleashed my primal monkey, the the primal monkey here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, grab that crab, walk over into the 
a blue buff, and then probably begin to clear upwards. Guys, we're going to be rushing a Blade of Rune King as the first item, because the first item on Yi is quite powerful. The Blade of Rune King is quite a powerful item on Master Yi. So let's go ahead and grab this camp here, go over into this other camp here, and uh, and then, I mean, I guess we'll we'll see where we where we go from there. We'll go up into the wolves. Oh, oh, that flash by Talon though. I could actually probably sneak up on this, but Diana has no flash. I still have my flash too, by the way. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure this with my Alpha Strike, and we're gonna come over here, and I think we're in really good shape. Uh, so we grab ourselves the Raptor Camp. Looking pretty good. Looking good. Top lane is kind of struggling a bit. Actually, dude, he had double buff. He should still be fine. Oh, he still has double buff. Yeah, he should just win this. Wait, if Rumble had flash, why didn't he use it before? So we're going to go ahead and head into the top camp over here on the Krugs. We'll finish the Krugs, go back, and buy ourselves a pickaxe. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we are lining up for this dragon over here. Look at Vagar. He's, just, he's hitting it for me. Thanks, man. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. So I do have my smite up. Smite is going to be good. And, uh, hmm. Let me explain a little bit about why I'm running first strike here. So some of you guys may be wondering, why am I not running lethal tempo like I have been in most of my Shilbo games? So I really like first strike against, like, squishy team comps. And this team comp's pretty squishy. And so I feel like I can make me a lot of gold by running for a strike here. Now, granted, with that level 1 and cheese invade that I had on Diana, I probably would have been better off with the lethal tempo there. Uh, first strike only gave me like 28 extra damage. But, you know, you can't predict those things are going to happen. I could also burn that Talon ult. I could, I could burn that. Why would you flash that? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what that. Oh, I do not have alpha. Oh, she just has six. Mm, she's trying to bait me. Mm. She has the potential. She has the potential to go for my camps here. Okay, I need help. Like, I really need help. Like, she's gonna take my red buff, and I gotta back, and I gotta secure this recurve, and see where this goes with this. Oh, I can't buy boots with this build either. Maybe she, maybe she took the raptors? I don't even know. So let's heal back up the full. Oh yeah, she full dipped. She just took the small raptors and got out of there. Yeah, that's the least that you could do for me. Thank you, Darius, because I did help him out over there with that uh, that initial push here. So let's go over here and grab ourselves the uh, red buff and then grab ourselves maybe the Rift Herald. Or actually, she could be in Rift Herald right now as we speak. We do not actually know she's in Rift Herald. Yeah, that's... Uh, I didn't really think about that. I should have thought about it, but I didn't. All I could care about was my red buff, guys. She might go for, like, mid lane because we know the Fizz is bot. So it kind of makes sense for her to go down there. Mm, how's that wave pushing? Yeah. I'm going to be too far away to grab that cannon. So let's go ahead and uh, finish off this Raptor camp. And then head down to the Wolves, into the Grump, into the Blue Buff. I think that's the way that we want to go here. Uh, yep, 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 yep. That's looking pretty good. And she got four extra CS from that Rift. It also depends on how much she managed to clear in the on her side of the jungle. Mm. Okay, not too bad. We're going to go ahead and finish this off and then look for maybe a bottom gank. I like to have two different places that I'm looking at at the same time. Right now, I'm looking at returning home to maybe purchase an item, uh, secure bot lane, invade the enemy bottom jungle. Oh, God, that Darius is in trouble. I think it would actually be pretty beneficial to invade that jungle. I think that her red buff is probably up because she doesn't have a red buff on her. So it'd be worth it to go into the jungle and look around for her. I think, I think that would uh, actually work out. Because we can see that she only has blue buff, right? Man, they're going to try to take that full tower, but they won't. She only has blue buff. They know. <laughs> it, the, the red buff has to be up. Okay, I have no idea how that red buff is not up. 
So she started red. That means that her red just literally disappeared. That's that's the only logical explanation. It disappeared when I was looking at it. Oh my god. Does she have a stopwatch? All right. Well, that was really not clean by me. We're not going to talk about that. That was actually terrible by me. And I walked into her, and I lost the first strike proc as well. I'm really, really close to finishing my Blade and Ring King now. No. Bro, that was really close. I think I could actually sneak up on this. Because I need to finish this Blade and Ring King. No, no, no. We could do this. We could do this. We could do this. I got this. Big R baiting it. <laughs> the ultimate back bait right there, guys. All right, we got enough for the Blade of Rain King. He's like, yeah, they can't kill me if Vagar backs. Surprise, bro. I could kill you. Okay, so we have enough for the Blade of Rain King now. Let's go buy it. Okay, here we are killing the Krugs in their full glory. I'm getting quite fed here. Okay, so I told you guys I was going to reconsider later in the game how the Shield Boat purchase was going to go, right? So if their AP damage dealers get fed, you can highly consider going for a Hex Drinker and then completely skipping the Shield Bow. So in fact, this video could be a way to show you guys when you don't go Shield Bow, right? However, the only person really getting fed here is Diana. And honestly, a Shield Bow plus a Wits End is probably enough to keep her in check. Now, if Rumble starts to pop off a bit, we can, uh, we can pivot into the Hex Drinker. But for now, we're going to continue to assume that we're going to be able to get the Hex Drinker. So we're going to grab ourselves the Gromp over here and then make our way down towards the dragon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we're going to walk up to the dragon here, grab the dragon. And then after the dragon, we can look at maybe possibly making a move on the bot lane or something like that. So let's grab this. Yo, Fizz, where are you going? Go back mid, bro. They need you. They need you. Yo, this Vagar is such a troll. And they don't have this warded. I mean, she has spell shield, right? So she could just kind of waddle around in there. Hmm. She does have the perfectly timed stopwatch. Oh, there's a Diana over here. How long on that sweeper? She still has a while on it. <laughs> Outplayed. Outplayed. That was unbelievably outplayed. All right, I'm coming. Oh, man, you had a gale for us? You had a gale for us? Yo, I'd be tired of this Vagar, honestly. If I was the enemy bot lane, I'd be over this Vagar. Okay, tower secured. Now, with everything said, guys, I think Shield Bow is 100% the best mythical mastery right now. So I'm going to continue buying it. All right, so we grab some boots. We grab a lifesteal. Okay, so we are rolling up on this red buff here. And man, oh man, we looking real good, guys. We got some items. Wait, I just realized. Oh, no, no, I need a noon quiver. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. My body's ready. No, dude, one HP. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You know what? Serves you right. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about. We got the full bounty here. So a lot of people are asking me about how I feel about Mass G in the next patch because we are getting a nerf on our Highlander, right? Honestly, I don't think it's a huge deal. As you can see, I'm still level 10. At this point, guys, I wouldn't even be feeling the nerf because it's at level 11 and level 16. And in lower elo, you typically get higher level than you do in higher elo. So I don't think it's going to hurt Mass G too much in higher elo. Now, um... The durability patch, which is coming up very soon, I think will actually make Mashi perform a lot better. Because Mashi performs really well when people take longer to die. Because he manages to completely out-sustain and destroy them, right? Because Burst Champion, he's... Mashi's kind of a Burst Champion, but he's a sustained Burst Champion, right? He doesn't do as much Burst as Kiana, but over time he has more DPS. Uh, let's see if we can't go kill this Rumble. Did he just ult him anyway? That guy going hard. Mm. 
Hello, Rumble. Oh, no. I actually lose this because of Zanya's. Okay, making our way down towards the dragon. Fizz is having some problems with Diana. Well, there goes my first strike. Need the whole team here, huh? Ow. Owie, owie, owie. They have a Talon? You know what's great? I didn't just die. That's the best part. <laughs> I, I actually kind of expected there to be like a bleed or something on me, huh? You know how it is when you get away with one health. Hmm. I want to get this for the HP. Uh, by the way, I don't have smite. Perfect. Yeah, so we just went up for the Gromp because the Gromp heals you. And that's why I was kind of holding off on that dragon was just to get some extra health from that Gromp. Wow, we got three dragons. I am full securing this game with my dragon control. And I love it. I love it. And after we finish this uh, shield bow, guys, we're going to be going for the wits end. They are, they're actually getting really strong, but now I'm so deep into the shield bow that I can't really cancel it, right? Because otherwise I'll be going cracking and stuff. Um, wow, she took my camp there. So yeah, we got to go ahead and go into the shield bow into the wits end. I just think that's the best route here because they have lots of magic damage dealers. I know that like mages really hate Mama Mortius for some reason, so... Honestly, I don't think the item's that great. He has no stopwatch. Okay, time for some revenge, boys. Perfect. That's how we do it. Right there. Secured. And that actually gave me enough for my shield bow, so I can actually go back and inform my shield bow if I wanted to. But I'm going to grab me some Krugs and grab me a red buff here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so the Krugs are secure. Now we're going for the red buff. Perfect, perfect. And uh, we grab the red buff here. And now we can actually afford the shield bow without buying or without using Futures Market. But I'm probably going to use Futures Market anyway because I want to buy something else. Well, we back out here with my team here. And we had somebody in chat that asked me if I smited the Gromp intentionally when I was on this camp over here. And yes, I did. Uh, so I wanted to have as much HP as possible to try and scare the enemy off of the dragon. Because the thing is, is the enemy doesn't realize that I wasted smite on the Gromp, right? And the smite heals me. So I just went ahead and I full committed to smiting and healing off of that Gromp. And then I would try to secure a dragon with Alpha Strike. The idea is that I don't want to contest that dragon. We want to have the enemy stay away from the dragon because they see how high health I am, right? It was never about, con excuse me, it was never about contesting the dragon. Mm, what do we got over here? So we're not going to be able to go for that. I mean, Talon knows we're here, right? There's no way he doesn't know we're here. We literally just did the Baron right beside him. I, I got him. Oh, man. He fast. He a fast boy. All right. We ain't letting him go nowhere. Bro, that guy just jumping around everywhere. If he doesn't back there, if he backs over here, free kill for me. Come on, baby. I'm going for it, man. I'm going full deep. Yo, what if he goes over here? Far away possible. Oh, well. Unlucky, guys. Unlucky. I wanted that guy. So we're working on a Witsen as our next item here. And once we get this Witsen... Dude, Witsen is just such a great item, guys. If you don't know, Witsen is a fantastic item. Anathema's Chain, Frozen Heart, and Mobies. Wait. That is not the right build. She sold her items. Unless she's like... Wait, what? She had to have sold her items. Like, she had a Zanya's. I remember she had a Zanya's. Maybe she tilted. Boots and Moby kind of gave it away. Bro, I am so tired of being AFK. I'm basically AFK, guys. Like, Jesus. Dude, look at that CC duration. Well, here we are trying to secure the fourth and final dragon. Um, who does she have Anathema's chains on? On um, Vagar? <laughs> All right, he's our support, but you know, I respect the hustle, dudes. I respect the hustle. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and secure this dragon. This is the soul. We have done our part in this game, guys. Securing dragons. Hmm. Well, this is paint, so I'm just gonna grab this. Oh, now it's on me. Oh, I guess maybe she couldn't find me before. All right, Diana, I see how it is. The full, dude, honestly, she should have kept the Zanyas, though. I mean, if you're gonna sell your items, at least keep the Zanyas. Where is that gen at? I love it. Mmm. Well, here we are on the red buff. Darius with an amazing quadra kill here. The enemy team still fighting back. I mean, we got this dragon. We got everything we've ever needed. We got to finish the Baron and continue here. Let's go over for this. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I still think that Anathemus is a bit interesting. Let's grab this camp in the top lane. I mean, this isn't a camp, is it? I just think everything's a camp, guys. I, it can't be helped. What's up, Darius? You gonna push with me, buddy? All right, me and Darius soulmates. Diana has a stone plate. All right, guys, I think we can confirm now that Diana has given up on this game. Really unfortunate. Oh, this guy doesn't have Zanyas anymore, huh? Oh, he still had flash, though. Dude, that enemy team is still putting me in a pickle, though, huh? Uh, it's time to help my man Darius out with this Baron, and we need to try and push and finish this off. Honestly, the enemy team's actually trying really hard to uh, win this game, despite Diana's little mishap here. So we have to be able to finish it off here. So with the Baron and the Dragons, we're in pretty good shape for that. Okay, they managed to secure the kill here. She had to jump. We had that. Now what we should do is we should aim to push mid. Mm. Diana's pushing the top side. This is our opportunity to continue to do it. I oh, know Diana's behavior is really strange. Whee! You dead? Yeah, her behavior is really strange because she was still joining team fights. But you know it is what it is. Anyway, let's get into the next shield bow game. Shield bow game here. And it's gonna be great. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do here in a sec. Today we are playing Shield Bow Mastery all day for every single game, and you guys are gonna love it because Shield Bow Mastery, in my opinion, is actually probably the most meta build on Yi. I actually think it's more meta than Kraken. So I'm gonna start off with this red buff, and this is the enemy team comp that we're against. You may notice something. They have Vayne, they have Yumi. Yeah, it's kind of a wild team comp to play against this Mastery, but it doesn't matter, guys. I'm gonna show you how to win it anyway. So let's go ahead and finish these Krugs, and then maybe look at possibly ganking. I don't think we're going to be able to gank bot. They're a little bit aggressive. And yeah, I have an Ivern mid. But before we judge him, I checked him. I already judged him. I already did the judging, guys. This guy's actually not bad at the game. He's not too bad. So I have a lot of faith in him that he'll make it work. Because I think Ivern jungle is actually not too bad. Not too bad. So the enemy jungler is probably over here now. Because, um, you know, he didn't have to do Krugs. I got him go, man. He just hiding in that bush. Who knew? The bush gives him infinite poke. All right, so I'm actually probably going to pivot through mid lane here. I don't like to gank mid too often as G, but the Shesuo looks like a pretty easy gank. Okay, I'm going in. All right. Yeah, that got him pretty low. That got him pretty low. And Gwen died. Okay, so I managed to get Yasuo low. While the other dude managed to get a kill. Feels good to be the inferior jungle. We got some big jungle diff coming in, but that's okay. Let's grab ourselves the blue buff and then head over to the crab. And I'm going to sit up. So once we get the blue buff, the thing is, is we want to sit on this smite. Because we're going to need it to kill the crab. Because Sejuani's coming down for the crab. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Slice and... Wow, everyone just solo killed the Yasuo. You know what? That's not even a solo kill because I helped him do it. But, yeah, you can see I'm running Lethal Tempo here, guys. Everybody's favorite rune. I know everybody loves Lethal Tempo. But, um, yeah, I'm running some Lethal Tempo because you guys love it. And, honestly, if I had, like, first strike there, I probably could not have killed her or would have taken a really long time. So... You know, that was, a, that was a good call by me. Good call by me. We could go and kill her Krugs, but if we sweep them to spot them, 
then they'll know where I'm at. So I'm going to pop a ward over here because she likes to camp it. And if Garen moves up at all... Wow, bot lane's doing really well, too. If Garen moves up at all... Okay, yeah, we're going to back and we're going to grab the pickaxe plus a dagger plus some oracle lens. And we're actually going to head to... We could do a full clear from bottom to top or top to bottom, just depending on the lane we want to go to. And I kind of want to go to top because top isn't, like, super losing. Right? It's not like a super loss. She's doing okay in CS, even though she got ganked twice. Which means that Garen's actually not that great of a laner. And Gwen can definitely hold her own. Uh, that guy is going for my rafters here. I'm going to come around for him. Hmm. I'm going to go check it out. Hmm. Where did Sejuani go? Well, he doesn't want none of that. Now, I've actually been considering banning Yumi in my games, guys, because Yumi is actually just such a total pain when she's in a hyper carry like Talon or something like that, especially like Vayne. So uh, I've been considering the bans on that, but I didn't ban it this game because this is my first game of the day and I forgot. Mm, I, can, I can go on this. There we go. <laughs> All right, yo, the Everton mid's kind of funny. I'm sorry I doubted him. I don't doubt him anymore, you guys. I don't doubt him anymore. Okay, I'm rolling up the backside here. Poor Gwen, dude. Oh, oh, she's she's popping it back. She's popping it back. I'm coming up. The cow's coming. The cow's coming. And that is a kill secure. Uh, do you want help with this? Let me just... I'm just gonna like push it down here so that she has a oh <laughs> yeah I didn't I didn't mean to take that bro I'll just try to push you into the tower I'm sorry you, you want to be careful with taking cannons like that you want to show that it's uh you know you're bad so that's why I flipped that little thumbs up at him like, my bad man I didn't mean to do that because you know you don't want him to get angry and go AFK and we're doing really good this game uh, we're going to get the, so for the first item, even though I said I'm going to go shield bow, right? The first item I'm going to get is the Blade and Rune King. And let me explain a little bit about why I'm building what I'm building and blah, 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 blah. So the idea behind the Blade and Rune King is it's really good for Sidrani, and it's a good slow for Vayne, and it's also pretty good against Garen. And on top of that, Blade and Rune King is just really meta on Yi as a first item in general right now. Run, Ivern! My hero! Let's go! Oh, there's one kill. Yo, this Everton's nuts. He's nuts. Ooh, sheesh. <laughs> this yes, too, was tilted. Okay. So that's why we go to Blade and King. It's just really good, really powerful. It's a great first item on Yi. And for the second item, we're going to be grabbing Shobo. And the, the reasons why to buy Shobo. So today's going to be all about Shobo, right? The reasons why you buy Shobo, there's just so many. Like being able to survive burst so that you can then trade the enemy with damage is really, really powerful. And the fake HP on the item also works really well against champions of scale with your HP, for example, Bane. It also does a really good job of baiting people into thinking that you're lower health than you actually are, and they end up over committing and you bait them. And honestly, you don't really need the extra damage from Kraken. Because think about it, the damage to three hits from Kraken gives you like 120 damage, right? And in exchange, sometimes you die before you can apply that damage, which is why Shibbo is so good, right? The good sides to Kraken, I'll cover a little bit about the Kraken because I'm sure a lot of people think about Kraken. The good side about Kraken is that Kraken actually allows you to clear the jungle much more quickly and to solo Baron faster and to solo Dragon faster. But you got to remember that Shield Bow can also solo Baron uh, pretty easily, just not as fast because it has that extra lifesteal on it. And the stats on it aren't bad either. And um, Shield Bow also makes you tankier because the more legendary items you have, the more tanky you get with that extra HP that you get from the passive here. Well, we can continue clearing. I actually have enough to buy a blade and a ring king right now. But I think I'm just going to keep clearing because my camps are respawning. Actually, I can grab this one and then back because it's going to take 30 seconds. And that'll give us an opportunity to go back for the blade and ring king. Let me see how much I have here. Two, one, two, five. That gives us enough for boots, which is perfect. Everything that I want in this first back is going to be a blade and a ring king plus a pair of boots. Oh, no. Vayne's getting fed. Okay, you know what? I'm going to head the bot. Okay, let's roll up on him. Wow, he's like full HP, man. Wee! Wait, how did he get the kill? That's ridiculous. Wait, why would you kill that? <laughs> 
I don't know why you'd heal that. But anyway, that works out. Man, I got so much gold. I actually have enough to buy tier 2 boots. I might just go make my way to mid now. Oh my god. It, dude, Yasuo literally can't get out because of the Talia. I'm coming. Yo, snare him so I can get there. No. Okay, you know what? I'm going to back now. This is a good idea. I got so much gold, guys. If I'm like running around with this much gold, it's going to put me at a significant disadvantage compared to the people that aren't, right? So we grab this. We get this. And now we have enough to buy the first component of the shell bow, which is going to be a dagger. I love to get daggers before long swords, even though long swords have higher value, per se. It's just long, like the long swords are just really effective on, or sorry, the daggers are really effective on Yi because he loves to attack fast, right? Sitting on a 13-2 so far. Yasuo yeah, so doing about what he's going to do. Honestly, guys, I was thinking about dodging this game. You know, I was looking at him like, man, is this a dodging game? I got to play against a Yumi and a, a Yumi Vein, and they got this... Oh, hey, buddy. No! Yeah! Dude, I did so much damage to him. But you can see the power of the Blade and Rune King there just shredding that Yasuo down, right? Um, now we're going to hop over and grab the Shelly. And Shelly, once you get Shelly, Shelly's great early. Anytime pre-14, I love getting Shelly because she gets you so fed. That you can easily afford that second item before 14 minutes. As long as you pop Shelly on a plated tower here. So let's grab this um, Shelly here. Mm. You know what? I'm never making fun of him and never in mid ever again. Actually, that pick is just really, really good. Like, you know, I've actually played against or played with a few Ivern mids, Ivern mids in the past. And they always perform really... Dude. <laughs> I wish I could type in all chat right now. They always perform really, really well. Um, let's go over here and kill these wolves. Mm, mm, mm. And then afterwards, we're going to clear down to here. And I should just honestly slap this sucker in mid because there's like, there's no towers with plates. Hey, Evern, I'm coming. Save Daisy. Save Daisy. We're going full deep. We're going full deep with Daisy. Don't you worry. Wait, Daisy coming around the wall? Dang, dude, his Daisy's looking for he's looking for other people that are out to to kill us. Alright. Daisy, Daisy the real MVP. Okay. Very nice. I'm legendary. The Yasuo. Yo, this Yasuo is going for that 0 10 Yasuo power spike that everybody knows about. Everybody knows about it. Isn't that funny? Everybody knows about the Yasuo. And we're going to grab this tower. Uh-oh. I'm coming, Evern. Don't worry. Daddy won't let you down. <laughs> Don't worry. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yo, this is how much damage we do with just one on-hit item. Whee! Dude, they're walking into it. Okay, guys. I know you guys may be thinking right now. You're playing in silver. I know you're thinking it. But no, we're playing in Diamond 3 on the Korea server. <laughs> These are the kind of players you can expect in your games. Don't worry. It never gets better, guys. It never gets better. All right, I need a back soonish. I need to finish the shield bow, guys, so that I can give you guys the promise of a shield bow. Because I told you guys I'd promise you a shield bow. <laughs> yeah, don't touch these. I need these for shield bow, bro. Don't touch these. Okay. Let's continue. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. So, oh, come on, man. I'm busy. I'm busy. I got to secure the shield bow, man. Okay, let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, come on, man. I was there to help you. And that's what you did to me? That's the promise that you did to me? All right, let's go over here and grab ourselves the crab. Whee! And now we're going to get this dragon, which is just going to put us in an absolute dominating stay here, guys. And then guess what item I'm going to get, guys? Guess what item I'm going to get? Uh-huh. If you guess shield bow, you are correct. Because every game must have a shield bow. Whee! Okay. Secured. And now we go get the shield bow. And we make one final push for the victory. And let's grab this, this. Shield bow acquired. My team's pushing. Let's go. Everybody together now. Who do I kill? Guys, I feel like I'm playing against bots. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's what happens when you get far enough ahead. By the way, this is why you should always focus on trying to get as far ahead as possible. Because when you're far enough ahead, your games feel like this. Because the enemy has no way of dealing with it. Mm. 
Imagine dying to support Talia like that. All right, the enemy has objective bounties, but it is our time to push it in. Man, I think I gotta ban Ever and Med, dudes. I don't think it's I don't think it's worth the risk. It's not worth the risk of playing against him again. So anyway, I did get the shield bow. I had uh, I showed you guys how to snowball a little bit early. So um, I think we pretty much got this one under wraps, and let's get into the next one. Hey guys, we are playing shield bow master ye all day today. That was the worst leash I've ever had. Oh, it's warded. Oh, okay. Okay, best leash. Thank you, bro. I get you. I get you. All right, I'm pulling it out here. Sorry, guys. So we are playing Shield Bow Master Yi all day today for you guys. And we are running Lethal Tempo, which is a rune of choice for many of y'all. And we're going to talk a little bit about why we're running Lethal Tempo and Shield Bow this game. And when we would run Kraken and blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to do a typical clear here. The enemy Rel did not leash because he's not missing any mana or armor here. And uh, so, guys, I find Lethal Tempo to be very good for long trades in general. It's the best rune to bring, right? I've been bringing first strike a lot, but I really only bring that against squishies because you just get so much money out of it. I'm not sure I can actually help that. Maybe I can. I don't know, dude. That guy's kind of aggressive. I'm kind of wasting my time going over there, but I saw he's kind of losing lane. So I was a bit concerned for him. I'm going to head down over to here. But yeah, lethal tempo is always a really solid choice. Oh, that's going to be a flash. Okay, a little bit of extra smackage on that guy. We had to use our E and our Q there. We do have a ward over here, which is really fortunate. Oh, yo. Unbelievable. Mm. Coming around here. Okay, that's really unfortunate. We're going to have to back there. Dude, he's already level 3 with 3 CS there. That's kind of wild. Like, he must have went red up to here and over to here. That's uh, really wild. Clear for that guy. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some boots and a sweeper. And we're going to make our way down over here to get our blue buff. And then probably look at getting the crab. Now, with shield bow, I love shield bow a lot because it just does so many things for you. Like, it makes people think that you're lower HP than you typically are. Right? It gives you a lot of extra sustain with the lifesteal. And overall, it gives you more damage because you don't die before you put out your damage, right? With Kraken, sometimes you could die before you even hit that third hit with the Kraken. With Shield Bow, it really helps you stay in the fight a lot longer than you should be. Let's grab this crab here because we know that Lee Sen probably grabbed that, right? It's really odd. I've actually seen this clear a lot, especially in, like, uh, China junglers. I don't really see it too much when I'm playing in Korea. We're playing in Korea server right now. Um, <clears throat> but... Yeah, it's a really good ganking where you go red, blue, gromp, and then you go for a gank in whatever lane is near that, right? It's a uh, really fast level 3, and then I don't know how the clear typically goes afterwards. That's something I should probably sit down and take some time to actually learn so that I know how to deal with it. Oh, that guy is pushing really hard in the middle of all those minions. Jeez. Man, I should be I should be in charge of that. I mean, Talia is still sticking around down there. I go ahead and I pick this up. Let's get ourselves a pot. Oh, Lee Sen's uh, kind of on the move. Is he level 4? I have a feeling he's going to come over here. We're holding on to our meditate just in case we need it. I mean, why would you do that? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I guess that's why he did. That was like some super bait. Look at him go, man. He's a he's so proud of himself there. I mean, I guess I'd be proud too. That was uh, a <laughs> that was some high quality bait, man. I, I mean, if I was Lee Sin, I would have done that as well, right? Okay, so anyway, back to the seriousness of the game. Especially somebody like Syndra, right? She's going to pop an ulti on you, and then you have that shield pop up. However, if they have multiple AP champions, you should really consider getting yourself a Maul Mamortius instead of the shield bow. Now, the thing about the Maul Mamortius, however, is that it doesn't work with shield bow. So once you commit to the Maul Mamortius, you're getting another mythic, which is usually probably either Kraken or a Sunfire Aegis. Let's go ahead and continue clearing these rafters here. And then make our way. I'm actually really liking the idea of ganking that rail lane. We got to be careful for that Lee Sin, though. That guy has shown himself to be hyper aggressive. Actually, I can maybe gank this. Mm. All we need is just a slow. Okay, so that's another flash. You know, I'm doing my part. I'm getting flashes, okay? Which is more than I usually do when I'm playing Master Yi. Oh. Um. Yeah, that's a pure fiesta. What are these pumpkins? Are those from, like, Syndra? 
still holding on to my point here just in case I get another point. Meditate. I'm just going to go for this. Yeah, she's going around the safe way because she doesn't want to die, obviously. Oh. Let me go ahead and grab this. You don't want some of this, Jana? I give you some fruities. Some fruity fruits. Okay, Lee Sin's on the other side. I gotta go down here and get Dragon. It's still got the sweep on it, so I'm just gonna wait a second. Okay. You know, because we just wait like a second or two and then the sweep's gone and then they don't know for sure I'm in Dragon, right? Compared to I start it and they absolutely know I'm here. So it, of course it's worth waiting a little bit of time. And we're gonna hopefully get this. Man, Seth's almost level six, he's sad. He's sad. All right, so we're still piling on this Dragon. Wonderful. Secured. And now we can continue to do our clear upwards. Yeah, we got boots. We got to go fast, guys. So I did pick up boots instead of dagger. Uh, when I run a lethal tempo build, I like to get my tier 1 boots at least somewhat early, right? Compared to, like, if you're running first strike, you get your boots whenever you get your boots. And uh, Berserker Greaves are the best for getting you those continued ganks. Especially, like, if you're in low elo. I think Berserker Greaves are a really solid first item choice. Just because being able to run around and get all those ganks in low elo is just really powerful. Almost level 6. Gonna keep doing this clear. I would like to back and get me a pickaxe and double daggers minimum. Alternatively, I could get me some berserker graves. Am I going to be wanting any other kind of boots? So my decision making usually comes down. If I want to get berserker graves, I'll typically buy those berserker graves really early, right? If I want to get mercs, I'll usually grab mercs after two or three items. Unless I absolutely super want mercs. Like everybody on their team is somebody that I, I got to deal with. And if I want to get tabbies, I usually get that after one to two items. Because tabbies work while you're jungling, they just work in general and every champion that auto attacks you, right? Uh, sorry, they're called plated steel caps now. I apologize, guys. So typically, Berserker Greaves, if you get Berserker Greaves, you buy them ASAP. If you get uh, plated steel caps, you get them after one or two items. And if you get Mercs, you get them after two or three items. Because Just because of how useful overall the items are for getting you more farm to get more gold, right? It's kind of like Berserker Greaves can potentially get you more gold to get you more farm. But Ninja Tabbies typically won't do that. They will sometimes, but they typically won't do that. Also, now that Lee Sin's bot side, this looks like a good opportunity to uh, secure Shelly here. Oh, for some reason, the blast wave has gone. Let's go and do a little sweep. Going through here. We haven't bought it all. We'll be able to purchase a recurve bow here. Okay, I'm going to go up for this guy. I might not even do Shelly. I'm just going to gank. It'd be nice if I got some help here. <laughs> it'd be nice. It'd be nice. Do you have shield? Why would you flash if you don't have shield? Yeah, if he could have taken that tower for me, it would have been really great. I'm going to go ahead and get me... Actually, what we could do is we could go recurve into these into a longsword. Yeah, Rel's kind of... When I went in on that, you know what I was thinking initially is like, man, Rel is going to like do that little stun thingy on me and I'm not going to be able to kill her. And boy, was I right. I didn't have any items, so I couldn't kill her anyway. Um, let's go ahead and go over to the crab and see if Lee Sin has secured that. We do have two smite charges. I'd like to grab that. Maybe I should have just went for rift. Oh, there she is. Oh, my God. I got his rift. I got his flash. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. If I had any prio in mid lane, that would have been that would have been so good. Man, Talia was there too. Is it that their support? Nice, yo, he secured it. Very good. Look at that Talia though. Yo, what is this support diff? Keep it going, set. I believe in you, bro. Okay, I don't believe him. He did. He did. But I did pick me up a rift. Which is fantastic. Getting that rift is great. We're four kills behind, but the game is still easily winnable, guys. All I got to do is just find a lane. Mm, that lane's looking real juicy. Pop Shelly in it, and we good. And Leeson having no flash is really great as well. Unfortunately, it does look like Victor's probably going to back after that clear. Because I want to go for mid lane. But I don't have the support from that guy. We could always go for bot lane. But bot lane only has two platings anyway, so it feels kind of like a waste. Because my bot lane's... Oh, they have one plate now. My bot lane's doing good enough without Shelly. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about why we're buying Blade and Rune King as the first item. Blade and Rune King as the first item on Yi is pretty meta. It's really good. It just really synergizes well with his... Um, it really synergizes well with his Q and all of his abilities. Oh, that's good. No, I just summoned Shelly. Oh, my God. Uh, 
Oh no, I did not mean to do that. I was trying to sweep my way in. Well, rip Shelly. Rip Shelly indeed, guys. Rip Shelly indeed. Okay, so. I'm going deep. Got to secure the tower. Okay, well, you know, there's a chance that their guy's coming. Uh, Shelly would have been better used on a different lane for sure. But sometimes you got to take what you can get. I'm going to back and get me the um, the pickaxe here. But yeah, Blade and Rinky is pretty much what you always build first on Yi. There's really no deviation from it. Uh, unless, like, maybe Kraken. If you're going for a Kraken build, you can maybe grab a Kraken as the first item. But even Kraken is just better if you have other legendaries because you get more attack speed from it as well, right? Uh, what is she up to here? I'm down to go for this dragon. We just need some kind of prio from Victor. The guy's down 20 CS and a kill. Mm. I feel like the enemy bot lane has to back just as mine did. Okay, they're going for Victor, so this is actually a really great opportunity for me to... Oh. Okay, yeah, never mind. They are... They will be fully committed to taking this dragon here. Um, My body's ready. Hmm. Oh, well. We're not going to be able to pick up that ward. Oh. Run, Calcef, run. Bro, they are just, they are doing work on this thing. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, dude. 60 health on that thing. Hey, Sandra, what's up, buddy? I'm down to go deep. I'm down to go deep. Where's Victor at? He's on his way. Yeah, unfortunately, it was just slightly short. I had to be careful because Lee Sin has a better Q combo than me on the dragon, which is something I had to keep in mind when I was trying to execute that. So naturally, Lee Sin should win those uh, matchups, but I, I felt pretty confident I could get in and get out, which is why I went for the steal. If I didn't think I could get in and get out, I obviously would not have went for the steal there. Well, I mean, this game's looking really hard. Wow, 13 minutes. I don't have the blade ranking. Oh, yeah, I bought the tier two boots. That's why. I am down pretty significantly in terms of gold, though, guys. Like, uh, I need to I need to get me some gold. I need to get a kill. Why is Rel legendary? Didn't I burn her flash at level 1? That's the power of the roaming Talia, guys. I'm pretty sure I burned her flash. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe that was Lee Sin. I don't even know. Well, you know, it is what it is. We got to slowly... Wait, what? Why is he dead? Why... Wait, wait, wait. Is that guy on a rampage? Wait, Ezreal is worth a shutdown, but we're losing so hard. Come on now. Okay, so we're going to grab the red here. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually not really making any gaps closing here with my gold. I need kills. We need kills to get that gold back up, guys. How close am I to Blade Ranking? Okay, this is actually going to give me enough for the Blade Ranking. Mm, how are you doing over there, Set? Did you get the tower? Bro, it's literally, man, he's always against three people. The guy's probably tilted out of his mind. All right. Well, let's go ahead and grab these Krugs here. Mm -mm -mm. So after the Krugs, we have enough for the Blade of the Rune King, which should hopefully put us in, like, good Blade of the Rune King zone here. We should hopefully be able to kill some people after we grab this thing, which is what we've been waiting for. We could take the gate, which is uh, right over here, and um, <clears throat> we can head down maybe to help Victor in the boss side because I have a feeling he's going to need some help down there. Don't ask what it is. Nope, mid. Mid needs help. Uh, they have that Lee Sin coming. I'm doing a little sweep here. I'll probably run into Talia. Wow, that was thick money. And just like that, we are back in the game, boys. Yeah, dude, she's just walking on her own in her jungle. You know, you shouldn't do that. The jungle's a dangerous place, Talia. It's a dangerous place. So next up, guys, is going to be my shield bow. Uh, to survive as much burst as possible. And then we could actually consider grabbing a Wits End because this guy's fed enough and this guy's fed enough. And Wits End also works really well with preventing... Uh, uh, it just gives me more move speed. But I want to get Chilbo first to prevent Lee Sin from one tapping me, prevent Talia from one tapping me, the other dude from one tapping me. Oh, boy. Okay. Lee Sin got the kill there. He did waste Flash. Well, Rel has most of their kills. That's some positive thinking. If it has to be somebody, I'm glad it's Rel. Looks like Set's coming. Nope, he's getting blocked by Talia and Rel again. <laughs> he is he is not having a good time with this Talia, honestly. 
Oh no. Um. Hmm. Well, guys, my top side jungle might be a little bit off limits for me here. We'll see. Yeah, Syndra just did. Syndra just pop that there. Did she... Oh my god, that was a. I kind of figured they were there when I saw the little pumpkin. I wasn't sure if she just placed it or if that was already placed. Yeah, I don't have a sweeper for that. And I guess we'll just grab ourselves some Krugs and do what we can here. This is warded, but there's nothing I can do. Oh. Bro. Like. What is this massive support diff going on, man? I can't believe that killed me. She had a Knight up still, too. 1,600 health from the support with one item. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, anyway, we're gonna be going for the uh whatchamacallit here. <laughs> huh. Well. We're just witness witnessing greatness here, huh? Ezreal got a kill at least. Alright. You know, it's something. It's uh 132 here. Isn't bad as long as I can try to secure dragon. Dude, I love it. When you survive a Lee Sin combo, you win. That's all you gotta do is just survive his combo. And that's why we're getting Shield Bow. Because once we get Shield Bow, he'll never win. As long as you survive his combo. Uh, I need my team here because they got like a lot of time on this. I'm just gonna grab this Gromp. So the reason why we're grabbing Gromp is pretty obvious. Like, it heals me. Okay, Gromp secured. Yeah, like, he in general just beats. Oh, man. Oh god, I gotta hurry. Yo, where are you guys going? <laughs> where, where are you guys going? I'm, I'm like scared out of my mind here. They're just like leaving me on that dragon. Bro, my team's gonna die. There's so much poke going on. I think we definitely need a wit's end. So much of their damage is magic. This could have been a game where we could have picked up Mom Mamortius instead of Shield Bow just because of how fed the Talia's gotten. But, you know, I'm gonna continue with this Shield Bow here. And we'll probably grab, like, a Guntu's Rage Blade as a third if we want the damage. If we don't really mind... Actually, I think Wits in. We'll just grab Wits in as a third. Like, Wits in just makes a lot of sense here. And the Shield Bow gives us that, uh, quote-unquote, health. Uh, 18 seconds on this. Why are they fighting? Ah. Uh, interesting. I don't know. I feel like we shouldn't be fighting, but I feel like we're going to have a Surrender Vote popping in in a second. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like... This was a fight. Maybe if I'd been there, we would have won it. But uh, I don't know. I didn't feel like we were in a good position to be fighting right now. Especially I have all my camps up, right? That I just want to do my camps. I want to get to the shield bow. But honestly, that wasn't too bad. That was two for four. Um, let's go ahead and grab... Oh, the crab is up. Is the gromp up, though? The gromp is up. I'll go ahead and grab the gromp. I'm just taking what I can until I have enough for that uh, shield bow. I think I need 2,100 for shield bow. So I'm actually going to make my way over there here in a sec. We got some wolves. Give it all to me. Oh. Okay. Well, now I got enough for shield bow. Oh, no. Surprise. Tally appeared. <laughs> did she, like, expect me over there? I, I don't even know. If she did, that was kind of dumb of her. <laughs> Yo, we can do this. It's a pretty easy Baron. Like, Lee Sin's on boss side. Like, they're all over there just fighting, right? Whee! I'm meditating. Nice. This is going to be a very nice Baron secure. Uh-oh. I'm knocked up. Nice. Secured that Baron. See, guys, it was looking kind of bad. Now it's not looking bad at all. All it takes is just one really good fight, and we and we secure it. Okay, so next up will be... I'm just going to get the MR, man. I'm going to get the MR. I can't handle any more of this. I really can't. I cannot handle any more of this damage that they're doing to me. All right. 
Hey, what are you doing, Talia? I'll have you know that belongs to me. That belongs to me, buddy. Dude, I swear, if he tries to kill this over the wall, I will probably flash over and kill him. Like, I will, I will not allow that. I will not allow that. I got MR and I got a shield bow now. So with the shield bow, the game just instantly changes for me. Okay, wait, what? Okay, with the shield bow, the game instantly changes because now we're no longer getting one tapped by Talia and Syndra. And once we get Wits End, it'll be even better, and we can continue to sustain them. Now, once they get Zanyas, it's going to be really hard for us. But we're kind of hoping that they don't buy Zanyas anytime soon. Uh, but, you know, they probably will because that item is broken, and of course you're going to build it. Uh, we got to get that Rel. Oh, actually, Rel doesn't have a shutdown anymore. Now it's on Samara. Very, very, very interesting here, guys. Very interesting. Um, let's make our way towards the top side here. Sweep. Oh, okay. Okay, well that was kind of wild, but um, you know what? I survived. I survived, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters, you know? <laughs> that was, uh, I kind of figured there would be like somebody there, but man, the whole squad is up there. They're really good at grouping like that, but we're still 11 kills behind. Like, it feels like we're kind of clawing our way back, but we are actually still 11 kills behind, guys. So this game is still anybody's game if we're not careful with this. We're going to go grab that crab and see if we can't help with that Lee Sen. Mm. I fear the hall breaker set. He takes no damage. <laughs> the power of hall breaker, friends. The power of hall breaker. He takes no damage. Okay, so we're going to grab ourselves a crab. I'm sitting on 40 FPS right now. I don't know what's going on. Mmm. Okay, that tornado is pretty good. Yeah, we got a dragon soon. Okay, I do not have a point. I do not have Highlander. I do not have E. I do not have any of these abilities up. So I'm just going to go for dragon here. Dude, that set's going crazy. What's he doing? Okay, good. Secured the dragon. That's a third dragon for us. We have great security coming in hot on this. And I also have my full camps all respawning right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my Gromp. And then we're going to clear upwards. we got about 10 seconds here on the wolf camp here. And I'm going to try and figure out what is giving me all this frame lag here. Hmm. I'm not too sure. Let me do this one too. Get rid of this. I know, some, some of you guys, anybody that plays under 60 FPS, you guys are crazy. That's all I gotta say. I can't, I can't imagine. It's, um, it's just terrible. Um, let's go ahead and grab ourselves the Raptors here and get ready for my red buff. And once I get this Wits in, it's gonna be great. Uh, these mages aren't gonna be a problem for me anymore, and I'm gonna be super happy. Yo, don't even think about it, Ezreal. I see you walking over here, bro. He wants it. He wants it. He wants it, guys. He wants it. I mean, he's five kills. He's five four. He's not doing that bad. I'm not doing bad either when you think about how I'm, like, securing all these dragons and stuff. But, um, you know, I'm not doing... Oh, come on, bro. Like, come on, man. Why don't you just go mid like a normal mid laner? Like, why do you feel the need to go top lane? Like, why do I have a split in Victor here, guys? All right, we're walking up. Okay, his whole squad's coming. I'm not feeling too happy about this. <laughs> I've gotta, I gotta use this Highlander to escape again. Only wussies use Highlander to escape. That's all I gotta say, guys. And you know what? Today I may be a wussy. I'm baiting them with the gate, cause it shows when the gate activates. I didn't fall for it though. Ooh, you got a flash off Italia. Of Oh, the secure. Oh my God, my team might do it. They did it, they got a double, but there's no Baron to get because I already got his Baron because I'm too good at this game. Feels bad, man. Well, at least the enemy didn't get the Baron, huh? Wow, how did I miss? I don't even know. Anyway, we're gonna push down bottom while my team pushes mid here. Man, we are still 11 kills down, but we're, we're pulling back, guys, we're pulling back. That's the power of the objectives, by the way. These objectives are fantastic, and that's something that Yi does really well. 
is he secures objectives that didn't help put your team ahead, right? Like having 6% attack speed plus the 6% ability haste just worked really well on the dragons. Denying him from the enemy is really good. I'm going to keep pushing here. Mm, that red's gone. Ezra being a little greedy for that, huh? How close are we to the wits? Let's check out the wits here. We need 2,000. Mm. I mean, I can get that with my jungle camp, so... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into the thing and grab the wits in here. So we got 149. I could grab blue plus the other thing to secure the wits in. So here we are on the blue buff. Give me that blue. I need that blue in my life. And now we grab the grump. We have enough for wits, and then we prepare for that baron. We have to be in position to secure that baron. We're also level 16, which is huge for us. This game's actually going on for a really, really, really long time, and uh, I must say I am. I'm happy. I'm happy that it is a nice long game. So we got ourselves a wits in. This is three items. Is anybody bigger than me right now in terms of itemization? We got two on Lee, two on Syndra, two and a half, two. He has three. Three on me, two and a half, three. So three seems to be about. Dude, why? Okay, I gotta know. Why is my Janna constantly on top of Hex Gates dying? Okay, I think she just wasted ulti. Okay, I couldn't do it, but I think Set got this. Where's our team at? Wait, where, where's everybody at? Why, why is it just... It feels like me and Set versus four people. Oh, Ezreal's here. Dude, they didn't even kill Syndra. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, this works out. Okay, well, you know what? That's great. Again, I'm a little bit confused <laughs> what they were doing, but you guys ever notice that there's a bug with the Hextech Dragon showing up as a uh, winged dragon, the Sky Dragon? You guys ever notice that? I noticed that. Yeah, anyway, that was a bit awkward that it was like me and Seth versus World there. I might consider picking up a stopwatch, but actually, I'm going to get Gunju's because Gunju's is nice and cheap. It'll get us another proc on this uh, mythic passive bonus, so we can get another 70 health and 5 AD from it as well. Uh, I love Gintus. It's one of the biggest damage spikes for Master Yi in the game. Um, like, I think the only champion that really uses it better is Vayne. Oh, let's go for this uh, gate here. So we're going to roll up into this dragon. Hopefully my team don't lose it. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. Yeah, I just wanted uh, secured. They can't, they can't kill me. They can't kill me. Look at that. Look at that. I'm too good with the wits in. They used everything. And if I had shield bow, it would have been even crazier. They went hard on me, and it did not pay off. That's why you need, like, at least one MR item, guys. At least one MR item. Because without it, I would have died 100% there, right? And shield bow, of course. Shield bow can't always be up, but it's up for the Baron fight. I'm actually glad that I didn't have shield bow up. Because now it'll be up for this Baron when I actually need it. Uh, because obviously, I didn't need it there. I still survived. And I like how Janna tried to heal me, but she was not near me. <laughs> she kind of she kind of missed. Um, let's roll up to the Baron. There it is. All right, team, let's secure this. Yeah, when you have a shell bow like this, you can easily tank and sustain the Baron the whole fight. Okay, not too bad. I mean, they can't really do anything to me. Yep. And that's how it is right there. I had no fear. I had absolutely no fear because I still had my... Uh... Ooh, that's a Quadra. Okay, I got to go hunt down the Penta, guys. Does she have a Zanyas? She does not. All right, let's go. We're hunting the Quad. Yo, don't wussy out. Ow. <laughs> bro, he didn't dive it with me. He Obviously, I wanted it, bro. Why didn't you have to dive it with me? Okay, anyway. We went ahead and picked up the Guntus, right? It was like a free kill, man. That was a free Penta if he just went with me. I'm going to report him after this game. I'm just saying, guys. All right, can my team actually push this in? They do have Lee Sin to worry about. Lee Sin was their most fed player. Oh, he's not anymore. I guess it was always Rel. That's the thing about Rel, right? He can hold it off until Talia respawns. And nope, that's game right there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the Shield Bow game. Let's get into another one.